This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week, we are doing a pretty hefty restriction. We are doing what I believe is called the One Ticket Challenge. Correct me if anybody knows the proper term for it, but basically the idea is that our entire deck has to cost a maximum of one ticket, one online and magic online currency ticket at the time of building it. Uh, so we're, it's not quite Penny Dreadful, which is a format where every single individual card has to be .01 tickets at the time of a new season. We're doing it a little bit different. We could have a little bit more expensive cards, but over the entire deck, is, there's a salary cap, there's a budget cap of one ticket for each deck when we built it. Um, yeah, it was tough. I don't know about you guys. But this was this was a tough one for me, especially when like I'm in the midst of building a deck, not quite done yet, and then I refresh and I see like a card goes up while I'm still constructing the deck, and I'm like, no, I can't afford a point zero five tickets if it was still point zero two when I put it in. <laughs> Uh, I yeah that was definitely one of the more challenging parts for me too and just like figuring out card prices like it was fine you can use like scryfall and filter by prices which is nice but I'm just used to building like on magic online with the filters and stuff so that was challenging too like figuring out how to actually find the cards that would be legal in the format yeah but I mean at least you start with field of ruin and strip mine and that's that doesn't count to the budget I, I was told right Yes, lands lands don't count. That's <laughs> right. That's what you're doing too, right? The guild, guild of Guin. Right For the record, they totally count. But the nice thing oh. is that that on no. Magic Online, the basic lands ca cost zero tickets, zero tickets. So that is one way of, of saving up um, some of your your hard cap. But anyway. That's our theme for the week. Let's start it off with what everybody brought. So Richard. What deck did you build? Alright, I am playing Tetsuko Umezawa, the uncommon legend from Dominaria. So I, I had a few goals in mind. I wanted to be a monocolor deck because I wanted to play as many basics as possible to maximize my budget. So I'm playing 35 islands. And Tetsuko herself is an uncommon, and the cards that work well with her are mostly commons and uncommons. They're usually the terrible cards that you might sneak into your limited deck. But combined with my commander, they'll become pretty good. So my deck has a one dollar, a one tick budget, forty four dollars in paper. So it's not too bad. Some concessions had to be made, but not too many. Like there, there are a bunch of cards that if I were, were building with an unlimited budget, I would include. But there's probably like a handful that that had to be cut, uh, specific to this strategy. Obviously, there's just generic blue cards that are good and expensive. But so I'm pretty happy with how this deck turned out. It'll be pretty interesting. No one played Tetsuko when we did Dominaria, so it'll be interesting to see how she shakes up. It's coastal piracy and Biden and Thassa within the budget. That's like the most important. So thing coastal that, coastal piracy is twenty t point like twenty cents, like point two ticks. Biden and oh. Thassa is 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 included. Oh, all right. We got one out of two. That's actually that's actually quite good. You probably could have fit coastal piracy if you tried really hard. There there are a bunch of like. 0 0.02 and 0 0.03 cards oh, but okay. I, I, I did have I do have 35 islands so I do have an extra 35 cents to play with so if I really yeah. wanted to I could put Coastal Piracy in but I figured the increased power from the other cards was, was better that's fair and yeah I think for this week especially it's a smart idea to stick with Monocolor because it does let you uh, pick up a little bit of the price of your cards elsewhere instead of spending it on mana fixing so and that's a good choice uh, I do like Tetsuko. She kind of reminds me of Edric, so obviously uh, I, I like her quite a bit. Um, and yeah, this is the first time we get to see her because we didn't see her in Dominaria, like you said. So quite nice, quite nice. All right, next up we got Vince. What deck did he build? Interesting that you guys said that we should stick to Mono Color because I'm playing Carador Ghost Chieftain. And I'm, I'm playing 16 forests, 12 plains, and 12 swamps. Wow! <laughs> well, that's a bit green. Oh, 
I so, know how um, this game is gonna shake up. <laughs> yeah, because you just I'm just gonna play spells that aren't too mana intensive color wise. Um, my decks are all graveyard based um, value basically. Um, it's just yeah, outvaluing everyone with the typical sort of Carador strategy, but obviously most of the cards aren't available. Interesting, my deck is actually 150 bucks in paper, mainly because Survival of the Fittest uh, was a promo online, so it's uh, 0.02 tickets or two micro, as people call it. But in paper, it's 110 bucks. So um, Survival is worth uh, twice the amount of the rest of the cards in the deck in paper. Um, and yeah, so I'm, pl- I'm playing Carador. I'm going to get some value. I'll probably get screwed on my mana base. Probably have Seth blow up my lands with strip mine that he somehow put in. Um, and go from there, really. Flavor wins strip mines, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. I mean, you probably will be able to cast all your spells, but there's always that 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 like that that's, that chance that uh, things just don't pan out, at least for the first couple of turns. But maybe that will I, work I out in your favor. In the heart of the cards, and also with the last couple of weeks, how things have gone, I believe it's time for karma to swing round and reward me. <laughs> You'll just have like the perfect curve. Every single lady you want, every single card you want to be drawn gets drawn. It could happen as, as yeah, long as you're let's, let's uh, saying the proper prayers to the ghost of worth. Anything could happen on Magic Online. All right, and we got Seth. What deck are you running? Uh, so, in the end, I'm playing Arcanus the Omnipotent. I'm also a mono blue deck, but you I would. think my deck will be very different than uh, Richard's deck. <laughs> We're kind of on the opposite ends of the mono blue scale. So, initially, I was searching for legends that cost one cents, and I came across uh, Juicy Juicy Apprentice, which is like this two mana card draw y thing that then it flips around into an enchantment. Uh, and then I realized that it's not actually a legend until it flips around, so it can't be your commander. So at the last minute, I had to move that to my 99 and play Arcanus as my commander and switch that from the 99. <laughs> but I'm basically a uh, card draw tribal, more or less. Yeah, don't say, Seth. This is a <laughs> card, point, card draw, point of departure. Card, card draw and counter <laughs> spells are cheap. <laughs> they, there are many one-cent <laughs> cards that do those things, so... It was a natural fit. I am, I am personally, personally, Seth. I am shocked. I am. This is so unlike you. That sorry to sorry to disappoint you, Tomer. <laughs> well, Arcanus is fun. We've seen him a couple of times. He, we know what he does. He's sweet. He's effective. He draws cards. It's it's a it's an excellent choice for this week. So yeah, should be cool. And finally, it's me, Tomer. Hello. I am playing a Silvala Explorer Returned. Uh, I don't know if we actually ever got to see Silvala in a Commander Clash before, but I forget when, but recently we had Silvala being played. I think Vince played her in the yeah, 99. Yeah, I think she was in my ominous bear hug deck that turned out not yeah. to be a bear hug deck. It was huggish. There were hugs. It was just Eldraz- there were the Eldrazi hugs. hugs. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I don't know. I really like Silvala. I was very impressed with her just showing up in that last game or two weeks ago's game and I wanted to I want to play her play her as well. I wrote an article about her way back when and she actually kind of fits well in in this uh budget restriction. So yeah the idea is going to be kind of group huggy a little bit. Um ramp into big things and if Selvala dies then you know just play mana dorks that will ramp into big things as well. So that's a deck, really. It's just, it's just a ramp deck. Um, hopefully it does the rampy things. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. And with the deck intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Aww. I won the die roll. Yes, I would like to play first. I call shenanigans. Where are my die wins? Uh, I think Vince, Vince is leading this season, right? Oh, I think, by far. I think Vince has won more die rolls than the rest of us put together. I think I've that's what really more counts, die rolls too. Than games. <laughs> <laughs> more, have you had more die roll wins or land strip mind? A win's a win, right? <laughs> like, uh, I have a one lander. I'm going to mull this away. Yeah, I cannot keep this. Ooh, I have three lands and a ramp spell, so keep. Yikes. Wait, you have a ramp spell in blue? What? Well, like a mana rock. Oh, a mana, mana rock. rock. Yeah. What about the Mulligan? Yes, I would. Come on, don't don't screw me. Well, this hand isn't a good hand. It has. It's basically like a 
four land, four card hand because I have cards that I have no intention of casting anytime soon. Um, but I mean, it has two lands. I can't get too greedy. I'm just gonna keep it. And your commander Savala. So if you just get to Savala, life should be good. Yeah, but when you have like I have like twelve mana dorks and you don't have a single one in my hand, it just kind of feels meh. My hand's a bit shaky to be fair, but again, I don't really want to six. It's got it's got mana and mana rocks, so it you lets you cast colors. spells. <laughs> if you have three colors, you're good to yeah. go. Yeah. In the three <laughs> three color all basic land deck, you just oh. if you have your mana, that's probably the best. I, thing I you don't can actually for. have one of my colors, oh. so um, <laughs> oh, let's no. see how this goes. <laughs> no, but you have all that mana fixing, you'll be fine. The people at home are just shaking their heads, probably. <laughs> well, my hand is not developing how I how I drew it up. But that's fine. You've only had one control. I know. <laughs> so that's of, I, 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 haven't, I haven't played that Savala this season. Or maybe I didn't Rafik. I didn't play it in the green deck, though, because obviously it's well, it was mono green, wasn't it? Oh, the other Savala, the mono green one, is out of the budget. I initially wanted to build her, the mono green Savala, but she I'm was too expensive. I'm thinking the mono green expe is quite expensive in paper as well. Because yes. one printing. Yes. Uh, it's, it got only printed in the second conspiracy set, I think, and that was it. Ooh, daring saboteur! All right, this hand. Why this 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 pirate looks like Jace? <laughs> this outfit <laughs> and the coloring. I'm like, oh, it's someone cosplaying Jace. <laughs> it really bugs me that it's looting and not just straight up card draw. But I guess it is only two mana. Oh, it's so, a two mana two one. Like it it's looks also like a Jesse, rare. Yeah, it looks, exactly because it's rare. So Jesse and Thief is a one three for three that draws your card and has prowess. So I mean. But you yes, can but this is a pirate. Unblockable. Pirate synergies. I guess that's true. That's <laughs> oh, they'll true. never see me coming. Are there any sweepers in this format? I'm sure I think there I have are. two in my deck, maybe. But I better not tell you that, because that'll get you all really mad. <laughs> what? No, I'm rooting for sweepers first? this week. I have a lot of fun cards. Better fun, not make yeah. enemies too early. What <laughs> 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 fun? <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, yes! Like Vince said, we yeah. have oh, no. Thief. Richard's uh, gonna draw so many cards. I, mean, I love Jesse yeah. and Thief. Oh wait, I can't hit Tomer. He has the good lands. I'll hit Seth. Yay! <laughs> oh, white wait, wait, no. You're, because I don't have white borderlands. You I have the wrong I island, land. Seth. Uh, my match. And See? I did spend 20 minutes this is the what episode I... trying to find, figure out what wants to play. This is what happens when you spend some time and thought, <laughs> Seth. I was getting it's ripped on. consolation, Seth. I like your lands. Thank so you. perhaps you could not shoot me for 20 damage off an Adnathi amount of this week. <laughs> yeah, we can be fr Let's be friends this week, Vince. What is this? All right, Richard, how are you doing? You doing good? Well, you guys are the white border club over there. <laughs> That's true. White border versus good lands. Ooh, Savala, eh? Yes, group hug. Everybody's happy. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to continue. There's not a ton of ramp for a mono blue deck in this format, I realized. I can imagine, no. So I had to make do with whatever one penny <laughs> mana why rocks you play two there drops are. And one drops. No, that's that's why you just play like forty five islands and you call it a day, right? All right. Does Carador play flash creatures <laughs> that would punish an attack? Oh, yes. Uh. I, I'm gonna. I'm inclined to actually believe that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna cast prying blade. Prying here. blade. Oof. What is going You're, on? That prowess my ramp. trigger. What? Can I so, have a treasure, please? Someone needs to sweep the board. What? <laughs> Somebody needs what? To I'm about to draw you cards, here. Seth. You're welcome. I do appreciate that, Tomer. Sweep he Richard's says, board. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Just sweep Richard's board. Look at that. Look All at right. that proudest Seth, going. Seth had to take this before Umazawa comes up because I don't <laughs> want my guys to get ambushed. Even though they're all look, look, all my all my creatures are on ropes, repelling on something. Isn't isn't the Jesse and <laughs> Thief like the prowess trigger at Nanbo with Kutsuko? <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but... <laughs> I think all equipment basically non bow with Tetsuka, don't they, weirdly? Oh, yeah. Vegeta itself. Mind Shrieker. Oh, Mind oh. Shrieker. All my cards are so good, I don't want to loot them. Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Perhaps I shouldn't have kept this hand. <laughs> well, I might start doing things next turn, sort of. Like, I can yeah. play my commander. Can you, I get can to you draw make... cards. Oh, it doesn't even say target player draws cards. Oh, I, I can't even draw one for us and I get to play some magic. There's 16 of them. That's 
That's a high chance over the next ten turns, right? It seems possible. Seems fine. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm just gonna discard this tandem lookout. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look. it's so good though. It is so good. It's double thieving magpie. I mean, without the evasion, but double. I have an altered Jesse and Thief where the ropes all move down the text box and she's wearing a top hat and a monocle. Done all by right. the original artist. What do we reveal, everybody? Oh, Attacar <laughs> Valkyrie, sweet. Flow of ideas. <laughs> wow. It draws Wait, so how, many cards. How did cards. you get three mana? Oh, oh you, you yourself. Okay. Um, the commander, yeah. No, no, no. Because oh, I, wow. I drew a land, but it's all four players. Oh. I oh, wish oh, I had oh. a land drop. Oh, that's a monument. That is a monument. <laughs> That's a scary monument. Is it? Yeah, this this is not yeah. not ideal. I mean, if you cast three creatures, you just get... Oh, oh that's Lord. Oh, that's a Pelucranos. I didn't hit a land, though. Oh, poor this, Tumor. This hand is really, like, not ideal. <laughs> I can hazard a guess that it's better than mine. Well, mister, I'm have... only running basics. <laughs> to be honest, I've never been color screwed with this deck. Until today. How many times <laughs> did you run it? <laughs> You're all I basic played, mana base. Yeah, I played this deck on my channel a couple of times. You just need one forest and you're off, so I probably shouldn't have kept the hand without any forests in it, really. The funny thing is, two of the cards in my hand help me get forests, but they're green. Well, I'm helping you draw into your forest, so there's that. That is true. I appreciate that. See? Group hug. I have, like, the most expensive hand. Uh... Can't be that expensive. All the cards cost less than a ticket. You should just Yay! cast flow of ideas. I wish I could, I would, and just discard the hand size and be happy. Have you got like a windfall effect or anything? That'd be great. Uh, I don't. <laughs> windfall is actually expensive. I'm I'm just going I'm just going to suspend in Eon Chronicler. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> take, oh wow. Take my beats. This is, is the this most thing? Seth deck I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> contribute nothing to the board state. And I'm just gonna Wait, draw so cards. He just draws a card every turn? Well, well he draws one card next turn. <laughs> but then it becomes a 6-6? Six, six? Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. Eight, 8 actually, because he would have drawn two cards. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So that's like a legit threat. It's not a threat, it's a blocker. It's a blocker so I can keep drawing <laughs> more cards. It's the biggest card on you guys a, killing me. It would be the biggest creature on the board. <laughs> Blue? I would Blue have to chump block it with my Pelucranos. Oh, there's greed mana. There oh, it is. Yes! Get there. I'm actually pretty glad that Now that the happens. magic happens. Hopefully, the gathering can deal with this board. What? No. No. Is this like cultivate or something? Probably. I wish it would e cultivate. Oh, I love Wayfinder. Oh, Wayfinder is like one of my best forest. favorite cards. It's very good in yeah, reanimator. Oh, unburial rights, flesh bag, Attacar, Valkyrie. All right, this is a thing. Yes, I'm back in the game, kids. Let's play some magic. Oh, you got blockers. Never Fight. punished. <laughs> Fight fun. each other and not me. Just because just because I don't have any blockers doesn't mean I'm the enemy. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, enemy. You're, you're not, but you're one. like the free cards. <laughs> yes, I know. You're like a sack of sack of free card draw there. That you, I must. He's a <laughs> he's like a card pinata. I'm I'm actually group card draw pinata. I, I'm drawing cards and I'm letting everyone else strike, draw cards by attacking me. <laughs> He's a punch bag, and every yeah. time you hit him, just coins fly out. Value, pure value. Card draw, pinata. A pinata. Interesting. Are you gonna attack me, Tomer? Uh, oh, are you attacking do me? It, Tomer. No. Do it. I, I, I don't like how Tomer can just like kill my entire army with one Palooka dose. Why would I, I do that? that? I'd rather cast spells. All right, I'm gonna yeah. cast this monument. <laughs> what? 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 Everyone's playing monuments. Um, I feel like I should have played a monument. I guess I'll just hit Seth some more. <laughs> I knew you. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> you, you have some life to give. You're gonna draw some cards. You'll have a blocker. Mm. I don't think I have much life gain Target, in this deck. You turn a punk and goes in and tap. I don't like that part. Well, I don't like, have any creatures, so if you if you make Silvala not on tap, then I'll have reason to attack you. It's Pelucritus. Slash so just would blow. You really attack me. Yes, don't don't tap down my Silvala, or else I will attack you. <laughs> That's a lot of card draw you've got going there. I'm I'm looting, but no, yeah. just seeing thieves not loot. Just seeing thieves are str yeah. straight up card draw. I drew one loot, looted one, oh, but the card is so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible, what a terrible predicament. What a terrible to be in. predicament here, where my cards are too good. I don't want to discard them. <laughs> I, d I think Jesse and Thief is close to constructed playable. Like, 
Well, you could pay, if it was just two mana, it'd be, so, it'd be actually really good in like a Delver deck, like modern Delver. I tried playing it in a budget Delver deck, but it also dies to Bolt and Push, which isn't great. All right, I'm tapping this down. What are you so tapping? You don't know, group hug everyone. Oh, You're tapping Tomer, down my soul. <laughs> Okay. But, but you know, I'm not. I'm, we're not enemies. We're oh not enemies. yeah, How are you not enemies. You that just... is literally a gesture of war. Oh, you yeah. a declaration. I get him, him Tomer. Three get mana Tomer. every turn. Wow, Richard. Wow. Send, send a message. I, I, I'm just tapping down your unfair mana. I'm blow not, up his board. Wrath his board. Attack. I can't, I can't blow up his board. I am attacking you soon. though. Are you gonna attack me, Tomer? Yes. <laughs> oh, must we start this war? You, you just started it. <laughs> yeah, but you can't, I can't give you like four mana every turn. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame if something were to happen to this Pelucranos. Would be a shame. You oh, you drew a land. <laughs> you draw a land. I don't know about everyone else at the table, but I really wish she'd been able to tap that Savala there. I would love to have drawn a card. I know everybody was happy with Savala. She's she's partied Savala. Well, we'll then par rant. party she pooper doesn't... Richard over here. <laughs> We're having a party, which just bursts in. He's like, "What's going on here, kids?" He pulls the punch down the sink. <laughs> <laughs> party pooper Richard. <laughs> what? What? What does he have haste? Oh my god! Suspend is a that's thing. How suspend oh, works. suspend. That's a that's a big blue creature. On the last uh, time counter is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. It has haste. I really like the art as well. Like he's bringing that woman a ribbon, and she obviously really likes ribbons. Yeah, and it was right on time too for that ribbon. Unfortunately, he did not draw a land. But you do have an eight-eight, and remember who attacked you all those turns and brought you down to that twenty-eight. That is true. That is true. Tomer. Yeah, but then he'll just, <laughs> me. I, I can't go. I can't attack Richard. I need him to not attack me, preferably. Just play a different blocker. He has tiny creatures. <laughs> but, but if everyone keeps hitting Richard, he'll have to hold blockers back himself. Yes. Uh. Well, I guess we're uh, we're gonna pass and discard the hand size. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Wait, what? You did? Did you play a land this turn? No, I didn't draw a land, and I can't. Wow. My, I have a very expensive. A what very is expensive this series. deck? <laughs> he has mono like, six drops. In could hand you and cast? Is it all like Ulamog's crushes and such? Is it? <laughs> I don't. It's mostly just big card draw spells. <laughs> wow. I do have a few creatures, but that was dis that was a disappointing turn. Yeah, tell tell me about it. At the very least, you're supposed to tap out and draw cards like you usually do. I gotta leave my mana up just in case. Wait, you can cast Splinter your Splinter Fright. Oh, Power boy. and toughness is each equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Yeah. Very nice for the graveyard deck. Also, this is a good week for the graveyard deck because I don't think anybody has any yeah, graveyard who's hate. Who's packing graveyard hate? I did. There was no like scavenging <laughs> grounds, no relic of progenitus, maybe Tormod's crypt. I don't even know. I guess any modern legal graveyard hate now is worth money because of uh, um, Vengevine, like wreaking havoc on modern. Oh All my goodness! Yeah, Tormod's crypt is point zero nine. Yikes! Can't afford that. <laughs> um, I think I'm just okay over here doing nothing. I'm just gonna. Oh, you don't Off have any turn. creature cards? What? You should. In your graveyard. What's that? I do. What? Oh, 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 it's what a 1-1. One, one. about? Right. Add a card was revealed, not put into graveyard. I was looking at the revealed bin. I could attack you here, Tomer, but I'm not going to because I'm not a party pooper. You, right? Thank you. See? I like some people. Friends. Why would you tap down my suppose? You just want the party, Richard. Do we need to continue this... Senseless violence. Tomer. Just stop untapping. Just stop tapping <laughs> well, that my Savala. The situation has changed because you're the free sack of cards now. <laughs> well, do you want to continue this oh, feud, oh, Richard? Oh. Is this no, but I you want, want to draw cards. Well, hey, if you're Richard. attacking me and you're tapping down my Savala, that's not a way to make friends, right? You don't. You don't go to somebody's uh, party and then. <laughs> Punch the host in the face. Punch them in the head for for card draw, and then say, "But we're we could be friends, right?" I want to draw cards. Uh, you know he's attacking you. And and my nonbo of Jesse and Thief Pride Blade here causes my commander to not work, so I have to <laughs> I have to punch the open player. Whoops. And you're tapping down my Savala, which is the worst, as I should reiterate. So how much can Pelucranos fight for? What does this do? Deals X, X damage. X. It can fight for one right now. Okay, 
I, I could kill your daring two. saboteur if I wanted to. Uh, and if it swung at me, I would want to. Whoa, whoa, you whoa, whoa. are the worst. <laughs> you are oh, wow. You have the so worst. much mana. You are the worst. That Savala and Pelucanos my entire I just, board. I just wanted to give you cards, but the worst over here decided no. <laughs> Richard, the worst party pooper. <laughs> I now remember I had Savala in the other well, deck. Oh, he's countering oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody wants My to draw bad. cards. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, we're friends, They're, right, Tomer? Uh, I want to use that word, but... <laughs> yes, you know, in the, Actually, in the sense that that is the, the, the way that we hoped it would be. Not the way that it is. <laughs> that being ciphered on an unblockable creature seems really bad for my plan of staying alive with one <laughs> Eon Chronicler. <laughs> but that's the point of my deck. <laughs> he just wanted to draw a card, let's be honest. I that's exactly I what I expected. <laughs> Pay five mana, draw a card. The rest is bonus. Oh, here he is. Oh, no. Don't you. Don't oh, no, you dare. I spent too much mana. Do uh, don't worry, you, Richard... It's fine. I'm just keeping. Well, okay, I gotta draw. You're cards. keeping your yeah, tap down. <laughs> the worst. Too much mana, Tomer. Hasn't he made a total three mana off it so far? You've made more mana than that off the monument. Have I cast three creatures? I don't I know. know. I'm just trying to make uh, excuses for why everyone should kill you. <laughs> You're well, not. Okay. To okay, Tomer, I, I would attack. I would attack Vince if I could to draw cards. It can't be blocked. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. And you're attacking me with the. Hey, hey, you don't attack. You attack. You attack you're still well. attacking me with the. I've already got attacked a bunch truth. of times. Wait, wait, you're at 43 though. It's over. Okay, hold on. How'd you get to 43? Savala. <laughs> wait, she gains life. If she doesn't ramp you, she gains you life. Oh well, wait, yeah. Wait, she get, she can give you four life. Oh, okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's group hug. <laughs> it's group hug. Let me, awesome. let me knock your life back down to normal here. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, Richard. Wow. We really need to deal with Richard's boy. I, I, He's I'm just still going to die. So... But this, this, feels like, this feels like the... Hello. Oh, no. Oh, it's a... Oh, 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 oh. And it untaps Silvala. It does untap <laughs> Silvala. Uh -oh. um, don't Things want are about to... to get pretty bad here. I guess it doesn't matter because Silvali cannot block, but she can Palucros tap can. for mana, hopefully. But Pelucros can uh, block Jesse and Thief and kill it. Yes, that is what I intend to do with this Which play. Which is about to have his bell firmly rang. Yes, that is the intent Who here. plays Village Bell Ringer? You got me, <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is great. Don't you remember <laughs> the limited all-star Village Bell Ringer? How dare you? How dare you, I good sir? I guess it's kind of sweet with Savala. That that is the the purpose. And if I had mana dorks, which oh. the deck should have in play at this point, but doesn't, because the draws are funky. Why is Blue Cross a seven seven? What happened? I uh, Ronus's, Ronus's monument. monument. Oh wow. Okay. So Jesse and Thief is extra dead. I would say at this point, just like really, really extra dead. But my treasure token. Can someone kill Tetsuko? That's probably the problem now, I think. I'm the mono blue deck. Removal is not my strong suit. Unfortunately, I would need to fight her for uh, three, and I can't pay that much. Yeah. Like, I can flesh back, but that will then kill the Chronicler, and I don't think you'll be happy about that, will you? The Chronicler? Oh. Oh, uh, you can I don't really... He doesn't care. So he doesn't something. care about creatures. Really He's already care. drawn cards. He only That's cared just about trying suspend. trying to keep people from attacking me. Yeah. Oh, Richard has drawn See? so many it cards. All, it all works right? out, Tomer. You're still at forty. Does it? You keep <laughs> tapping down my Silvala. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're in a neutral state. We could be friends, right? Are we? <laughs> you just you just murdered my my Jesse and thief. It deserved it. I don't all think she wanted murders. to do was rappel down and what, self what, defense. Are I think. Here? There are doves in the background. Oh, Ooh. only two. Ooh, I got to land though. And you gained two life. You just blanked my attack. I'm group hugging <laughs> you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I can't believe you gained four fate life spinner. on top of four mana. What, what are you? Why playing? are you playing Fate Spinner? Fate Spinner. Oh like dear. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh no, worst. you didn't see that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yes, we did. <laughs> oh no, that's two, four. Six. That's a oh. proxy. 
skip combat? That's fine. I I yeah, don't care about Seth fate. I was Seth. I'm gonna skip my combat <laughs> anyway. Seth doesn't it care. just makes games go on for very very long <laughs> times. Six, so I can deal two damage to something. That's not really that interesting. Yeah, three would be three would be the better. ideal. Um, yeah, I don't have any really good plays right now, but I guess I'll keep setting it up. You have like seven mana to cast green creatures. All right, well, I can cast some stuff, all right? Uh, Block one, go. No, I'll just keep setting up. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's... Uh... So the difference between me and Tomer <laughs> is I play one threes and he's <laughs> playing six sixes. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder kinda, where this. Kind of wish I had that cipher going. I wonder where this Polychronos is going. I wonder. Th this is more Tober. Me and you keep you started place. this. <laughs> this comes. You get him, started go on, get him this. Good. Uh, look at Vince with the splinter fright. I don't. I don't care. Vince has it's not been tapping wand. down my Salvala and preventing me from drawing cards. I think Vince has learned. All right. What happens this, was... when you prevent me from drawing cards? <laughs> Richard. I can't, the worst I can't deflection. keep you around because your Rodus is mine gives you trample. I can't, I can't even block. You could block. You actually have 7-7 seven, seven unblockables. You'll just, you'll just take less damage. <laughs> the uh, the deflection from Richard there was the worst I've ever heard. He's like, look at Vince over there with this 1-1. One, one. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Two Mark my, in five minutes, you will all be fearing that splinter fight. That's probably true. As long as <laughs> Vince is not getting in between me and my card draw, Vince and I are good. I would hazard a guess that the Pelucanos and the Soul of the Harvest and the Sylphala are all bigger threats than Splinter Fright. But that's currently. what I'm saying. Me and Tomer will kill each other. <laughs> and then Seth will Or Tomer will just fight. kill you. This is this is likely true. However, just remember. <laughs> Am I really the bigger threat than Tomer at this point? Yes, what is, Zavala, what is more important? Richard, what is more important? Winning the game or drawing lots of cards? Uh, spiting Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Seth's been awfully quiet throughout hmm. all of this. Yes. Ooh. I'm just trying to stay out of the spotlight at the moment. <laughs> he just wants to draw some cards in peace. Like I wanted to do until this happened. You think I like attacking? I don't like attacking. <laughs> Progressing the game? That's disgusting. That's beneath hmm. me. What am I doing? I don't know what to do here. I guess I can just cast my commander. I mean, he is pretty good. He does draw cards. Three. Three cards. It's a lot of cards. Mm -hmm. Or you could play this. Is Arcanus meant to be the dude from the Ancestral Visions um, Ancestral Recall art then, is he? Is that what he's meant to be? Oh, um, totally different I hadn't thought about it. that. I don't think so. I, I know it doesn't look like him, but like that's the reference, right? So does he... Is it him in a, in a cloak? Like he's He's got more fashionable over the years? 25 years uh, old? <laughs> I don't think a generic wizard with a crown or something, and this guy's just like generic cloaked person. I think he's just in his ancestors. Hey, don't call him generic. Well, he kind of looks he looks more similar to Aeon Chronicler than anything. <clears throat> that is oh wow, maybe they're the same person. Oh. I've never seen them in the same room together until today. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Theory confirmed. You heard, uh. it, you heard it here first. <laughs> we're we're part-time Vorthos uh Vorthos podcast. You get your Vorthos with your commander. Here's my forests. Yeah, buddy. I think Archmage Ascension, slightly ambitious. Six, <laughs> six counters is so many. To be fair, you have been drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, but I got to do that for six full turns. That sounds like something you would do. <laughs> I thought when I was building the deck, I thought I would, but now I'm not so sure. Where's your reliquary tower? It's like 0 0.04. You can fit I, it in. <laughs> I splurged. I have it. I did splurge on reliquary tower. And I even have like, some other really bad no maximum hand size cards <laughs> like trusted advisor it's a, did you know what trusted advisor yes, is yes cuz i had that in my deck at one point <laughs> <laughs> also graceful adept yeah i have a uh, any bad way to have no maximum hand size <laughs> hey graceful adept is amazing spellbook <laughs> Trust Advisor is especially sweet because it lets you, well, makes you pick up a blue creature at the beginning of your upkeep so i can keep picking up my Eon Chronicler and <laughs> suspending it for all my mana to that draw more cards. That sounds so bad! <laughs> but it draws cards! Are you playing Spellbook then? 
Uh, I had Spellbook in my deck, and I cut it at the last minute. Actually, I cut it for Elixir of Immortality, because I realized I might mill myself out by drawing too many cards. Wow. Do you you don't plan on winning the game, right? That would be crazy no, talk. Right. Not really. All right, that's what I thought. If Maybe if I shuffle my deck back in, then you guys mill out before me naturally. That would be sweet. I'm going to cast a Fleshback Marauder, I think. Marauder number one. This thing can just be cast every turn, right? Yes. Well, I'm not going to sack it to itself. I'm going to... going to sack the Wayfinder, maybe? Yeah. Eh, got to get the value going. Value engine... I guess the Bell Ringer has done its job. Yeah, exactly. And, like, Seth didn't care about the Chronicler, and this Whittle's down Richard's <laughs> He doesn't so. care about the 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> I, uh, I really don't. As long as you're not attacking me, I don't really care. So I guess I attack Richard here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Threat assessment. <laughs> you still think I'm scarier than Tomer? <laughs> no, but you're trying to deflect everyone towards me, so I should. I have to kill you before you I don't you think Vince to wants me. to give me an excuse to start attacking oh. elsewhere. Who should I be more spiteful against now? Just don't <laughs> tap down my Silvala and I don't have to swing at you. That's, that's it. I, I feel like I should just punish Vince to let Tomer win here. <laughs> because that, that is what happens. That is what happens every single week on Commander Clash. There was no I, need to hit me with that. Wait, I wait, Vincing win, winning? Yeah, that doesn't actually happen. I call I call shenanigans. I can't not attack for the whole game. I have to attack at some point, and you're <laughs> the only mean, person I can attack without that. That is true. Yeah, yeah. not everybody can But you didn't say that. You said you, said you attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> for other reasons. Oh, that, and yeah, you were like, All right, see, oh, Tomer, he's Tomer's the strongest on board at the moment. You keep tapping down but my Everyone else keeps hitting me anyway. <laughs> so I, I haven't hit you. Just so it's uh, so, just so it's clear. If swinging my four four into Thomas six six would somehow have changed his ball presence, <laughs> I would have done it. But it wouldn't have, would it, Richard? So sometimes you gotta you gotta get your shots in where you can. That is true. That is true. And that's what you were doing for the beginning of the game as well, hitting us all. It's Tomer, very mean. I can't block Tomer's army, so we can just let it be. Yay. You, Maybe you have to tap down Tomer's army so it doesn't attack you. That would make no! sense. No! Then I could tap down Vince's army and not let that attack me too, right? Isn't Tomer's army just way bigger? I just... But oh, Richard or is, just this, the is this the, the spite move? This is the spite. He told the table a moment ago that his <laughs> army's big up. He's like, well, I, be I better tap Vince's down. Right, I, right. I, I can't fight the biggest, <laughs> the biggest army without health. I can't fight against the spite argument. Yeah. As long as my Arcana stays untapped, I have I done don't, literally I don't really nothing care. to deserve spite. I've hit you with a four-four. <laughs> I just want my Silvala to untap. I'm already behind. Oh, ow! I've been hit by a four-four. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this makes me really want to draw a strip mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what should I actually do here? We we actually have to make a play. Don't tap down Silvala. That's all I care about is drawing cards, and you're denying me this. I think you have to Richard. tap down Savala now because it's the meme, isn't it? It's the running joke. Well, no, I'm not. But then you're taking like eleven. Even if I next accomplish turn. nothing, I don't think I need to do anything to Tilbur anymore. <laughs> Seth, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ask you an honest I'm question. Do you have a? Because what? I, I need what? To Why? With Tober. <laughs> because I can't. I can't fight the battle against Tilbur. So. I thought. Se I thought Tome is six six was the scariest thing on the board. It is. This is. But I need to draw cards, and I can't get his Pelucranos on my case, so... Oh, okay. Just well, don't, don't tap down Savala, and we can be, we can be cool. We can right? be cool. We can be cool. <laughs> I, I can't fight two people at the same time. You don't have to. Well, I do, but because but, but the Fright But you're choosing to. Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, this is not the looting one. No, you just, you just keep it. Yeah. What was uh, the question, Vince? I was going to ask if you've got some sort of weird mono blue combo that you're there. Oh. Uh, no. No combos. Just just card draw. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Here it is. Here it is. What the... So, so, so no so one attacks don't, now don't, for like don't attack. half an hour. Draw step. Me. So you get to draw choose... Draw step. Draw combat. <gasps> Wait, is upkeep in here? No. No, so no. Main so phase. Draw main phase combat or, or main combat. phase. So Wait, drawing if... cards, casting spells, or attacking, you have to skip one of them. So but you I... choose main phase, you skip both, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does slow the game down considerably. But I have big creatures. I guess Fate Spinner like demands that people play interaction. Ooh, Shinobi. Yeah, that's true. I'd still be fine with a sweeper, I think. 
I don't have any. Not in my I'm, I'm anyway. fine with a sweep or two, actually. <laughs> but I like my creatures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I guess Blue Cross sure can do. kill Fate Spinner, can't it? It can. Does this mean finally Sylvali gets to untap so I can group hug everybody? It was untapped last By turn. All means. What do you uh, what do you skip in Tomer? Oh, I have to do this now. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I probably should have just killed her before that happened, but uh well, you all right. Skip, you get draw, you draw get the cards off soul. I'm not skipping card draw. Who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> you have a soul to harvest. And a Oh wait, Sylvali doesn't draw cards. Just, just I mean, I guess I could, and then attack you for a lot. Savala definitely draws cards. But I like yeah. drawing a card. card. Wait, does she draw? Yeah, everyone draws that card. Oh, I'll, I'll yeah, skip combat. So it's ramp, it life gain, and card draw. I mean, what's wrong with that? What did uh, you choose? Combat? Of course. Yeah, I... It's the only <laughs> reasonable <laughs> option. Stolen identity, eh, Richard? A, A, A. Yes. Who's, whose identity are you going to steal? Nothing Ooh. that currently helps. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could change what I'm going to cast, but not really. Oh, you're casting something good? I am, but yeah. Like, what could it be? Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, like, what else do I cast? Like, what, let's see here. Do I have any elf that is useful in this situation? Is this like Terastodon or something? No. I mean, uh, it's good. It's good. It's a good card. Is this? You'll probably see it in a second. I don't really care if Richard has a copy too. Yeah, there's like no elf here that I really want to tutor up. All right. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. I'm scared. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, oh boy. Burden, Burden force. force. Hmm. Okay. So Richard's gonna get a Burden Force. Everyone's going to get a Verdant Force. I, I don't even me. have the mana to cast <laughs> Stolen well, Identity. That's a, good, that's a good point. I hadn't realized. I just assumed you had. Well, he just said. Tober has a head start on the. Wait, eat him. Oh, it's a non token. Okay. He doesn't draw for the. Oh, no. That would be that would be hilarious. <laughs> Yay! Uh, position does look quite scary. Well, yeah, on Mono Blue. Is scary. At least he doesn't draw from the token. Newsflash Cyclonic Rift, not the budget. <laughs> Cyclonic mimic, very sad. Wait, what, what is? I'm really curious what Seth's hand looks like. He has so many cards he's been discarding. It's probably just more card draw. <laughs> is like, this like a lot of card draw? I can't cast it because I'm just going to discard two now. <laughs> just clue hmm. tokens and card draw. <sighs> All right. Don't, don't, don't do anything not bad, good. Seth. Cyclonic it's... Rift? Did you fit it in the budget? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Is it a tide? spooky Cyclonic Rift? Uh, should we do this? If it's going to spite mm. me, Seth, then no. I mean, you have a lot of really good creatures. Oh, it's a board, It's a mass bounce. Are you stealing no. my creatures? No, I don't know if I'm doing that or not. Wait, what? what? <laughs> you can mm. steal all his creatures? Oh, I wish. No, I can't steal all of his creatures. I could deal with a creature, but I'm not sure if I... <laughs> In Bolus's clutches? <laughs> what, are, what, are you, what are you casting? Uh, I don't know if I should tell you because I don't know if I'm going to cast it now. <laughs> oh, I might. You I might probably not. Probably should tell us. I might not cast it. Maybe we just do this and keep drawing cards. <laughs> that's got to be the answer, right? <laughs> Draw more cards. That's usually the answer. How do you? Do? <laughs> hmm. It's why Palaka Worm is better than Fag Tusk. It's just draw a card on it. Yeah, all right, we got to we got to do it. We got to do it. That's the reason. Uh, Phyrexian and Jester. Uh, now the oh. question is, what gets ingested? Not my stuff. I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta it's be got one to of be. your things. I just, I don't know which one of your things. Well, so it's if Richard... Between Verdant Force and Soul of the Harvest, right? If Richard copies one of my things, he probably gets the most value out of Verdant Force, I think. Because they're one ones, which then... <laughs> You just want to keep Soul of the Harvest to draw cards. If you get, I, okay. know, <laughs> I know you, Tomer. Seth, if you take care of my card draw, then I have guns blazing at you. You yes, understand know. this. But but if I take Verdant Force, the guns are not blazing? I will be less upset. Far less upset at you. We can't just let him not... not. You can't just let him have everything. Oh, okay. God. Well, he's I'll, taking I'll take, one of my things! I'll take Verdant Force. Is it, isn't this the, the stronger card, though? But I like drawing uh, cards. Yeah. Verdant Force is stronger, right? 
Fernforce is probably uh, stronger, but he's getting four saplings every like turn cycle on top of but, yeah, that one one. But if he draws a card, it could be anything. It could be a boat. Exactly, <laughs> it could be a boat. I love it. All right, good so, enough. That sounds like a casual ten ten there in this model blue deck. Finally, the group has an <laughs> understanding of how I how I uh, work. I don't just game. want you to attack me. I but I it, did have to deal with something of yours. You could have dealt it with. It doesn't freaking... really matter if there's a ten ten in play because no one's taking a combat step because of fate spin. Up. <laughs> That's all. Maybe I should have got rid of fate spin. You guys, you guys can just skip your draws. We're all full uh, handed with the Salvava. So Salvava. So Come on, guys. <laughs> No one skips their draw phase. Vince is actually hate, in pretty good shape over I there. I hate Signet's I mean, he's casting so Buried good. Alive's and stuff, so I think no, he's. No, I didn't a... cast it. It's in, it's in my graveyard. No. I didn't cast it. I, I mean, wish I did. But you get, like, Nyx Weaver to get back Buried Alive to get back something. The only scary part is none of us have any sort of graveyard hate, so this just gets better and better as time wears on. Oh, I missed the Soul of the Harvest. I just want to draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing cards, but I have to do them out of my yard because I don't have a soul of the harvest. Well, that's but that's also drawing cards. That's that's, fine. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty that's good also, card yeah, draw. Yeah, actually, actually. I, don't, I don't mind that having like ten extra cards in my hand just there in my graveyard. Exactly. Do I want to cast that? I'm unsure. Yeah, why not? It's pretty good. Yay! Next with her. Cards great. I can, I can block one one flyers with it. it it's wonderful. I guess I've got to leave up interaction to scare people off so they don't swing at me. I should have played. I should have played the mill deck this week. <laughs> <laughs> Do I attack Richard here? You skipped your combat phase, but I heard that oh, thought. I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that thought. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everyone will target me eventually. It's just how it goes. I mean, you are building crazy advantage. All right. It's, it really Do depends how, no how often now. Richard wants to spite me. Anyone I, I swing at will swing back with like a million damage. <laughs> you could just skip your combat base. Oh, I, I don't have that option. Yeah, Richard doesn't even have to choose. Oh. What? Oh, so that's the worst. This is the ultimate game of Commander Clash, right? Where everyone's just drawing cards and not attacking. <laughs> as as it's, it's like it's the supposed archetypal. To be. <laughs> like Seth wasn't going to be attacking anyway, so this is actually not hurting him whatsoever. The, yeah, the, I literally do not. Care this is benefiting him because now he doesn't even need to block. <laughs> That's true. It actually is good oh. for me because that means you and Vince can't attack me if you felt inclined. So what happens My if I stole an identity? Do I get the enter the battlefield trigger? Do I get the imprint? You do. Of course you do. Of course yeah. you yeah. do. Yep. Oh, okay. I guess so I'm... you can fraction ingester his fraction ingester. I don't uh, know how that works. I don't really care about that one, though. <laughs> but I'm saying you get a 20-20? Yeah. Is that how it works? Oh, is that what happens? Actually... Hang on. Oh no, it just gets the same power. Sorry, I thought it doubled it for some reason. Ignore, oh, okay. me. Ignore me. What are what are you taking? Soul the Harvest? Ugh. Oh, you oh, are I don't know now. Copy. I don't want to make so many enemies. Oh, we're going to be play. such enemies if you target more of my stuff, Richard. You're such enemies. But I don't have to Richard, attack you. Richard, here's, here's a thought for you. If you get one of his big things, I'll get the other big thing, and then Toma has nothing. And then I'll just Ooh. spend the rest how, of the wait, game spiting you. So I've, I've got six mana open and spells in my hand. I have oh. removal. Ooh. You could just kill my ingester and fizzle this whole thing. That's Ooh. true. I think I've passed priority already. I can't remember where we're at. Yeah, it's already answered the battlefield. Oh, okay. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> that is true. What, what are you doing? This going? Yeah, what Soul are you hearts, targeting? Right? Uh, I guess Palucross is also Do scary. you really want to continue this, Richard? What if I just... You yes! want to continue this? <laughs> because I don't want you to kill all my dudes. I got so greedy last turn. I played Burden Force instead of Monster <laughs> Sing Palucranos because it was like, yeah, Fate Spinner. Don't really care. Uh, and now Richard gets a an eight eight. I don't know. The cipher is a big issue. He's we gonna <sighs> exile two things now. You might actually have to kill this. Yeah, Eternal of Harsh. Vince, if you if actually you have, have removal. That's... removal. No, Do you my really removal kill? No, my removal kills things of power three or greater. Oh, uh, what? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah. This is brutal. If I'd realized, if I'd remembered the sci-fi, I would have just killed the ingestion before to stop it happening. But and he's bouncing things. Richard's deck is doing its thing. This is like Edric all over again. 
And I love it. <laughs> I don't take infinite turns, okay? There's there's windows on. I don't take infinite turns either. It's just a lot of turns. No, no. And e drink. Oh, wait. Yeah, you do. That's I just take a bunch. <laughs> oh, man. This is so bad. Man, stolen identity. Looking good here. It's actually oh, pretty good, even good. like not sure. in like one of these decks. Hmm. This is so. Uh, I think I can sort the board out shortly, maybe. Oh, I unsure. That would be sweet. What's Richard doing? Yeah, right, I'm I gonna, I'm gonna say. Wait, hmm. are we still enemies if I leave your soul of the harvest? Uh, yeah, he he killed so much of your stuff. <laughs> don't worry. Are you leaving Silvala alone too? Yeah, Savala's fine. I don't care about Savala. I mean, fine. I'd rather not lose my Soul of the Harvest, so yes. Well, I mean, you could draw cards. Oh, wait. No, wait. No, I have to do... Never mind. <laughs> you could bounce, bounce the... It's a May! What? Um, it's a May! Okay, you could bounce a Sapperling. I'll, I'll leave your card draw for you. Don't bounce my Sapperling! <laughs> 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 I need it for the flushback! <laughs> no! Uh, Oh, that's so right. This is gonna... So this triggers the spell and it targets something, right? Gosh. Yeah. This is some scary stuff. If it counters my ingester, killing it might... Oh, man. Hmm. I don't even know. Because we... cause it's still going to be going next turn with the cipher and unblockability. What happens? So if I get the ingester, I get a 20? You know, I get a... What is the base power and toughness? It's a 3-3. Three, three. I get a 13-13. I can do a Marauder, make everyone sack. No, no, it will be a... Oh, yeah, it will be a 13-13, yeah. I can uh, just Solval. You could take... Yeah. No, that doesn't seem good. Soul the Harvest for more card draw. I wonder... Fate Spinner doesn't really stack, right? You would just choose the same thing twice. I'm, I'm on a Carador. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. Well, now we got to deal with Richard. It's fine. I, I can sort the board out next turn. He's I got think. a wrath. I can go get a wrath. It's going to take me a lot of time, effort, and resources. <laughs> but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine with a wrath. I think, unless I draw something sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the the wrath plan right now. Considering everything I can play gets bounced or exiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Richard has a really his creatures do not look good, but he's got a really obnoxious setup. Yeah, I should have. I should have just Pelucridos anyway, because the Shinobi was gonna uh, bounce it anyway. I'm just gonna. Oh, you have like a million mana here. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh. I hit. I hit well. Um, but am I gonna play anything into a possible wrath? Is the question. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Man, I'd love so to yeah, find Relic like, Return. Yeah, I I need to wrath because of Richard. Basically, we can't let the Stolen Entity keep going, can we? All right, so I will avoid. I will avoid playing things into the wrath. You can let me just check kill my eternal deck list harsh to make sure. Oh wait, no. I would rather just see your entire. You. Yeah, well, your board just needs to go. You have the <laughs> biggest creatures and the most annoying creatures. Your board is yeah, all of it. That, that, I, I basically told her from two turns ago. Now, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just took all his creatures. Hey now. Uh, yep. Yep. Um, yep. But you can draw cards if you play creatures. This is true. Let me play land. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I play a Vitalis. So I don't Why are you... Oh, just, just draw a card. It just draws me a card. It's not like I want the Vitalis around. But you can untap it with Bellbringer. <laughs> yes, yeah, the East Synergy. I have a lot of these in my deck. It's just for the record. This game's been mental. Everyone's been like seven cards or more at all times. Well, because we draw an extra card every turn. It's basically yeah, howling mine helped. the entire time, right? Except for all those turns that you tapped it down, but okay. yeah. This actually hurts my deck a lot, because I draw cards and then just discard everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the Reliquary Tower. I cut it. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> well, I guess we're drawing cards. You don't say so. Come on, Re Reliquary Wait, Tower. Please. Every use... single turn is just a surprise with oh, you. Oh, <laughs> you don't even have to pay mana to draw. I thought the draw cards uh, was, just was paid mana. No. It just oh taps and draws. He paid six mana for it. It's not like... That's true. It, I didn't, it, it, I didn't it have to cheap. pay a lot up front. Can I, can I just discard my guild gate, please? So I'm just changing my stop so I can try and facilitate this wrath next turn. Wait, you have an instant speed tutor? That's in budget? Yeah, kind of. I've got to do some 
You'll see. I don't want to reveal my hand in case. Is this spooky budget? Flash in Sidisi or something? Like what? No. Ow. Not quite that cool. Pretty sure Vampire huh. Tutor is too expensive, right? I think I'll be alright because the only person you can probably interact with. Uh, you Vampire have no draw phase if you. Oh, wait, no, you have no. Never mind. You can skip combat. Seth's not going to attack. He doesn't care about that. It's yeah, I'm not, I'm not attacking. All right, so. Yeah, Seth's the only one who could stop me rathing, I think, at this point. And I don't think he's going to stop me, is he? Hmm. Twelve cards in hand. Things just reliquary tower. No. No, but things did get a little more interesting. Uh, let's see. Pay this well, one. He's playing stuff. One two. Pyramid of the Pantheon. Okay. Oh, what does this even do? It's bad. It's like a really <laughs> slow gilded lotus. Yeah. It's good with paradox engine, but I mean that's cheating. Yeah, I don't have I don't have paradox engine. Uh, and then we'll draw three cards. More to discard to hand size. <laughs> Why are you drawing so many cards? I really hope you, you deck yourself. And then we will add a mana. I should have added that milling cipher card. Hmm. Well, Whoa. me and what? Wait, what? Maybe, hmm. What do we choose I'm, here? I'm so scared. What is, what is <laughs> no. this? It's, uh, don't be scared, don't be scared. It's not scary. I just gotta figure out what to. Uh, he says as he's mass, mass choosing someone. I got That was quite quite reassuring. I gotta bounce something, and I don't know what. Who will be my bounce. victim? We bounce one. You bounce one of your own things. Why are you right? bouncing though? Oh, you I want to bounce to. the jester? Is it peel well, from reality? You, no, oh, you've, it's the one where oh. you and a player. You choose another player. Or you the guys trade wings. No, I actually have. Things. All right, I'm just gonna. I guess I will bounce. My ingester. Are you capsizing your ingester? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I found an extra turn spell that costs a penny. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> how, how does that cost a penny? Didn't I see camera play at the Pro Tour? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I have no idea it's why. It's a rare but... and current standard. Like, how? Yeah. It's also a very popular draft format, so I can, I can believe it. I'm double checking right now because I can believe it, but I double check. It's point zero two <laughs> tickets online. It's like point zero two. <laughs> That's the cheap. No, it, it's point two. It's point zero two. That's actually within the budget easily. Yeah. There is some yeah. weird. Do we, want, do we want him to have the flex ingester back in hand, or should I stop that? I mean, I gotta discard the hand size. So, is he gonna keep the removal spell in his hand? Is the question. I don't I mean, even know. Would, I don't even you, know. I think you just leave it, right? Why would you stop this? Unless it doesn't fizzle the extra turn, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I've already checked the wording on that. There might be something scarier. I think yeah, it would have actually it would been it would been it could be effective to actually just get rid of his Arcanus. Cause then he has to he stops drawing cards and he has to pay eight mana to get it back. That is true. Maybe I should kill the Arcanus because he's drawn six cards of it so far. Right? I would I would I would vote for Arcanus, yes. Aren't you wrathing this turn anyway? You're gonna I am, but yours are gonna take an extra turn, aren't you? You didn't target me with a target player takes an extra turn, I assume. No, I, I did target <laughs> oh, I did target myself. <laughs> that, that is a shame. Okay. I'm, oh I'm if stop you, you can draw if you killed Oh, if you can't just no, it's kill Arcanus and respond. It's already cast. Unless yeah. you can like loop this. Do you have Nexus of Fate in your deck? <laughs> that's my, my only extra turn spell. I just happened to see it was a penny. Ugh. Oh absent charm. Right. Yeah, yeah. You got me. Come on, you've drawn six cards off of it already. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a creature. That's what, fair. What's an infinite D combo in mono blue? Discard. Point zero one two. Palinchron Navigator. Do you have that? Power that in artifact in like a that I have mono here. Blue. Can't be in budget, can it? Palinchron. I think Dead Eye is, but Palinchron isn't. Uh, I think. But you don't. Need, you don't need Palinchron, right? You can use like Peregrine Drake and, and others. No, Royal cool. Elemental. Royal Elemental, sweet. Man, if he's discarding these cards... Oh, Sir, Sir Amaro is okay to discard them. He's discarded them because they don't draw any more cards. That's the problem. Uh, man, so many cards to discard. Predator deck himself flagship. And then Are you yeah. kidding me, Seth? You gotta go Prince really deep for removal in Mono oh, Blue. Oh, boy. What is your curve looking like? Oh, it is high. You're playing five mana counter spells. Like, <laughs> oh, it was, it was literally just mind control. He was considering getting you with earlier. Yeah, I, I was thinking about mind Straight controlling. Straight up, I called it. Not even control magic. Do you have control magic in there? Is that too expensive? Uh, no, that's a penny too. I do have control magic too. <laughs> hey, wait, right. he's discarding engulf the shore. He could have. He could have stopped all of this. He could have just well, engulfed. I figured. I figured Vince was wrathing next turn, so I would just trust in that. 
Vince, the funny Vince thing is, I could not rap. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> he eat never. Rap. Just, and then we could all kill Seth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Vince. No, you Wouldn't just hit him. Grand. You just hit him and force um, his rap. He probably has another one, right? Yeah, it's a spooky yeah, cyclonic got, rift. Another, another in golf. He's got an cyclonic rift, but he's like a discount <laughs> one that's been really beaten up that he found on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's claiming it's worth only a penny. I, I need the heavily oh, weighed, weighed moto cards, please. It was oh. donated by a follower, so technically it's free. <laughs> All right, I'll like sort of arbitrarily so he doesn't deck himself. Very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dirtling, I see. Yep, we're dirtling. Oh my, this is. So hang on, hang on, oh, Seth. Hang on. He has graveyard hate. <laughs> wow. You, wait, that's good. That's Hello. That is very good. Um, but you you discarded and golf the shores <laughs> and mind control and Saramo Raro and Royal Elemental to keep corrupted graph stone. <laughs> Like, Sentinel makes sense, I guess. He's relying on you to rap, and he's going to re cool his head with Arcanus. <laughs> he definitely has, were... like, a brain geyser in hand, and he just wants to do X equals, like, 20 uh, buried alive. Returning. Yeah, so to give you a clue, Seth, before you cock this up and stop me from rathing, I have to bury it alive for a wrath creature to cast it. Okay. Ooh, I'm not going to stop creature. you from rathing. Is there a wrath creature? Maybe, like... Yeah, of course there is. There's loads. Oh, like the the black creatures? Is it like? Yeah. There's a new one that got uh, printed. There's an evoke, um, one that all creatures get negative three, negative three. All other creatures, rather. It's pretty oh, when sweet. Oh, leaves the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, it's sweet. It. It's obviously not a modo yet. Oh, that would. It's like a. It's, so it's a small. Yeah, it's a small. <laughs> like the like a massacre worm. There's the one that when it attacks, you destroy all other creatures, but no haste. Oh no, I'm I'm curious. Let's find out together. I wonder if the YouTube comments can figure it out before we can. What? He, Vince doesn't even need to wrath. I'm curious. Oh, I yeah, I think he does. He did say I he have would. to fall Seth's, Seth's sentinel totem, don't what, I? What, what if I just don't hit Vince? And then he doesn't wrath, right? He doesn't need to wrath. Uh, Vince needs to wrath because of Fate <laughs> Stitcher and copying infinite creatures with eternal. That, that just gives him more setup time. To be honest, the, the, the stolen identity is forcing me to. That yeah, that true. keeps you from playing anything good. Uh, I guess that's true. Wait, do I have any? Oh, I have an ingestor. It is it is the exile a creature each turn plus the bounce a creature each turn that is really uh, the good one two punch. Seth, you sentinel toto. <laughs> I, I I am counting on this rat. <laughs> How can we let Seth's greed pay off like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just have faith in my my fellow man. If they say they're gonna wrath, I trust them. Hopefully I end, end up being right in this It's trust. like Crater Hoof or something. He just comes yeah. in and kills everyone. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Uh, like, what really, you you've, uh, you've hurt me with the combat step, unfortunately. Oh, did you Oh, did you skip that? Okay. No Crater yeah. Hoof. <laughs> I can't really bode alive for the maximum value because Seth's going to nuke my graveyard at some point. I'm not gonna just nuke your graveyard for the fun of it. I'm just if you're gonna do something that's like gonna kill me, then I'll do it. But I'm not just gonna fire it off. It's just uh, actually it wasn't. It was in my deck mostly because I was afraid someone would somehow have a shuffle back in effect, and then there's no way I could win by incidentally milling someone. Oh, Wait, you, what? You, you, Wait, what? you're not just gonna fire it off like you did with the Verdant Force ex exiling it with your Phyrexian Jenner. No, no, no. <laughs> that's that was fine. necessary. That was necessary at the time. Was it? <laughs> I think it was. So guys, I've got Magister of Worth, so we can we we can obviously all vote to the raft the board or or we can put everything back into play. Uh <laughs> you, you know the moment you do that, Sentinel Totem's gonna pop, so Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Seth actually just He gets a royal element. Seth, what is Seth will probably win. Don't let that happen. Wait, why though? Seth doesn't have any creatures. He has Royal Elemental, Saramo. Eon Chronicler, don't I, forget I my say, Eon Chronicler. Uh, I'm on board with the <laughs> Wrath plan. Yeah, I actually I am too. I'm voting Wrath. See, that's why I discarded all my good creatures, Vince. I was actually next leveling <laughs> you in case you voted <laughs> <laughs> to reanimate everything. That's why I kept that the That's fair enough. Yeah. So the Magister of Worth was a promo, so it's zero point zero two tickets. Right, let's just read this to make sure we vote for the right thing. Because we seem to mess up the votes, don't we, in this, this season. Condemnation. Kind of, is that the good one? That's the, right. that's the wipe the board. If condemnation gets more votes, or the vote is tied, destroy all creatures other than Magitra of Worth. So we want right, Grace, that's... right? <laughs> you want Grace. 
Everyone but else even if it's tied to condemnation, if it's tied, it's so Vince can't pull a switcheroo. No. Toma, vote condemnation, please. Do not vote Grace. I, I would love if Grace like the buttons bad. would like randomly change every once in a while. <laughs> like on Magic, well, that's Magic Arena. Always, <laughs> always bumped on. Does that happen in Arena? It, it sort of like lands around. Card showed you two cards in one order, and then it would say press OK, and it would say choose the card to put in your opponent's hand, and it would switch the order of them. <laughs> <laughs> they fixed yeah. that though. Uh, they fixed this. You gotta keep you on your toes. Well, huh. my board there we is go, guys. This looks like a more reasonable Time situation. Time to rebuild, it? everyone. Yeah, I like where we're at now. Yeah. Like First wrath for an hour and thirteen minutes into the recording. <laughs> I think Richard's uh, like full of. He has eight cards in hand and cheap creatures with evasion, and his Sitsuko costs four. I think that's fine. He's tapping my magister of worth. That is well, it, incredibly it even rude. Tap it, though. It just <laughs> doesn't untap. So if someone can tap it. Oh, sweet. Not as someone. Uh, good as you think it is. <laughs> just that, that also seems awkward with Tetsuko. <laughs> Does it work no, with the powerful. one? Yeah, yeah, but it blocks with, with the X ones. <laughs> X ones are fine, X -ones, aren't they? So. X -ones. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Game's gonna go for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We were getting close to mm -hmm. a... A critical mass of nonsense, so we just need to spend another hour getting to that again, right? <laughs> and then you kill Magister of Earth and reanimate it with Carador. Wait, did yes. you did you Carador or Unburial Rights? I Carador. Oh. I was really hoping oh. Richard would cast a bunch of small creatures. This is a kind of Ooh. Wait, what what is this value what? storm here? This... Why does Hunting Pack have a theme tune? I've never I've never <laughs> seen this My bad. happen before. <laughs> All right. I've never seen this card cast before. I was really hoping that Richard would just cast a whole bunch of small creatures on his turn to rebuild because he had nine cards in hand, but he just <laughs> cast Katsuko and a Loxed and Warhammer, <laughs> which is the most depressing. Uh, that's an instant too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool card. It's pretty good. But the beast. It's a shame the, the beast that it makes the art. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like tiger in the picture, and then it's like lizard in the art in the token. Yay, it's about so She returns. Huzzah. Yeah, Alright. And. Ooh. What is this? Doubles up Whoa. Silvala. Whoa. <laughs> oh, do you have um the one that allows creatures with tap abilities to tap as if they had haste in your deck? What's it called? Thousand Year Elixir? I'm just gonna spread the love. Every single person gets one beastie. No, a Thousand Year <laughs> Elixir is not in the <laughs> Who budget. Who gets the bigger beast? Well, I get the bigger beast, of course I do. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want you to, to block and trade. I like my beasties. I would never have Also, you're at 38, years. so... That's... Well, you're at 45, Tomer. Someone probably should... Excuse well, me, so while I was just hugging... <laughs> he's gonna get up to 8 life a turn now. 8 life? That's oh, not double likely. Tap. Double tap. That's, that's very that's unlikely, why I actually. hedged it with up to. Um, well, you can draw up to 20 cards each turn, maybe. That good. <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. <laughs> you have the cards available. I'm so scared of whatever is in Seth's hand because he, he discarded such good cards. <laughs> He's going to play five mana rocks and He's pass. Like, and like, what? <laughs> Royal Elemental. This is so poor of a choice. Is there a mono blue mass reanimation spell that I'm not aware of? I mean, blue no. can do anything, so I wouldn't be surprised. It, it can steal your mass reanimation spell, though. <laughs> yes, Diluvian Primordial, maybe. Common Deer cannot be in this budget, surely. Yeah, I'm surprised Survival is in the budget. I knew, I know it's super cheap because I always play it, but I didn't realize it was like literal like two cents. All right, well, don't kill me. That's always a good way to start a <laughs> <Yeah>. turn. <laughs> don't Let kill me, taps like 10 mana. By... <laughs> Arcanus, go. Oh, okay. If you are scared of his hand, Tomer, what you could do is attack him. I did. I don't, don't kill <laughs> no, I mean, me, like, Tomer. With the in intent of killing. I'm, I'm not saying you should. Oh, I'm Tomer. just saying that's a way to deal with a hand. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Oh. I just wanted to spread the love. If, if Tomer kills me, I'm wiping your graveyard on the way out the door vent. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that is just mean. Oh, wow. I, I get main phases up, keep draw steps, and combat. What is Isn't your character like dirt cheap now? Yeah, some great juice. Probably, yeah. I haven't checked exactly how much yet. I think Should it was be a, saving a eight. promo. No, he means the actual CMC. Oh, yeah. It's probably pretty cheap. Right, Toma, your life total is two 
damn high. Is it? Take this. Yeah, it could be higher, level. though. You're still higher than everyone else by more than 10 points. I feel it's because of all that charitable work I did drawing everybody cards. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. Yep. It's yep. back. Are you waiting for anything in particular, Seth? More cards. What do you, what for do you the mean? Sentinel totem? Oh. I mean, is See, that well, I'm about to. Uh, my Magister of Worth's about to go back in the graveyard, so he should probably not do it so I can keep the creature decks in check. It's not. He's not doing anything too crazy, right? You really want him to be able to board wipe every single turn? Uh. Then you can't draw you cards. Killing your, 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 oh, arc hmm. your Arcanist keeps dying. Uh, that is a good argument. I would like to draw cards with this Arcanist. Well, so his Carador is like forever going to cast just three mana. He can't recast <laughs> anything else. It's only one per turn, right? So we're it's good only for one now. Per turn. Okay. Exactly, exactly. I wouldn't listen to them, Seth. They're, they're just trying to <laughs> this this is turn you against you. <laughs> this is <laughs> like Seth, the easiest no brainer to play to do. You have the Sentinel <laughs> Totem. What are you waiting? <laughs> Who tweets at you more often than this lot? It's me, see? We're buddies. <laughs> that, we're friends. That, that's a good argument. And we've had mixed experiences being friends in the past. There's over, a so ton maybe... of armor right there! <laughs> and he has a full graveyard of stuff! Why aren't you using it? What are you waiting for, Seth? Some... Oh, I see. So it's okay for you to draw cards, Tony, but when other people want to draw cards, it's not okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm saying? drawing everybody cards. Wow. I, I'm, I'm offended. Also, you just drew a ton of cards of Disciple of Bolas. I didn't say anything about Disciple. Disciple. Great, I'm just saying it? the graveyard deck maybe should be answered like every single <laughs> other deck is being answered. Well, Seth. this is, Can this is the... the Disciple, though? Can he sack Disciple to something? Oh, this is the... Got no I mean, he needs, a, he needs a sack outlet. Yeah. Remember, this is the only piece of graveyard hate at the entire table. So once it's gone... It's gone forever. Maybe I'm trying he to it out, and then I just combo 13 kill cards in the graveyard. I think this is the best time to use it. <laughs> well, he's got to discard the hand size. Oh, no. All his creatures have trample. Oh, oh, right. well, that was a broad. Oh, oh yeah. M well, watch out. My 2-1 has trample. Careful, guys. Watch out. Hey, I, that, that wrecks all my X-1s. <laughs> the only person that has to worry about a 3-4 with trample at this table is Richard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's terrifying. <laughs> Look, I'll even discard. Should I discard my acidic slime or should I use it on someone? That's spite. You can just discard it and use it next turn. No, because Seth might blow it out. Uh, Look, I'll discard my acidic slime to be nice. Look, see? That's not helping make the graveyard less <laughs> scary, though. <laughs> There's nothing in my hand I can discard to make my graveyard less scary. <laughs> Oof. A land? A land wouldn't be too scary. Yeah, I'd happily discard land right now, but I don't have one. I'll just... Yeah, there you go. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that's... Draws, the graveyard might have to go Ugh. at some point. Well, if you give me prior warning, then I can, um, you know, say my goodbyes, <laughs> you know, uh, dress nicely for I'll, the occasion, I'll, I'll keep, buy some flowers. I'll keep you informed, <laughs> but it might, it might have to happen. It depends. What are you going to cast next turn? Can you convince me you're not going to cast something that um, scares me to the point where I need to exile your graveyard? I guess I probably have to six times something with Richards out of spite. Oh, hmm. Intriguing. I don't even care about any of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, alright, whatever. <laughs> uh, I guess the monuments has been helping me cast stuff. May, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may have the cytoplasm become a copy of another creature. Alright. It probably reads become a copy of our Stop with the tapping down, <laughs> I have to do it on goodness. something, okay? It's just one. Ah. And Tomer is the person that's most likely to just kill you this turn. Like, if he played an overrun, you'd probably just die. Yeah, Tomer's definitely going to... is the scariest uh, board state. I know my graveyard is an issue, and I understand that. I can appreciate that. Friends, right, Tomer? Yes, yeah, stop tapping down my stuff. I, 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 oh, wait. <laughs> it will be friends. Oh, no, this pride blade, the synergies. <laughs> I, I wanted the treasure, the token. I need X1 creatures. I never thought I'd say this. <laughs> I mean, Flicker Wisp is the best creature in Magic, but uh, it's not in your covers. So. Yeah, your creatures are your creatures are just too big. It's just anti synergies here. I can't. I can't even attack with anything. It's unblockable. Uh. Okay. I guess. I mean, we... you got seven cards in hand, right? I guess we just pass and hope hmm. we don't die. Suspicious. 
Counter magic. I mean, I am a blue deck. Oh, uh, now let's see what Tomer does. I'm definitely most scared of Tomer right now. What? No. Oh, I didn't. I just realized I had an interaction in my hand and shouldn't have cast the Burnished Heart. Oh, I was trying to get things out of my hand because I didn't want to discard too much. That was what it was. I guess everybody draw cards. That's always a good place to start. Ooh. Three mana. Oh, oh. man. What? And now you get do to you untap it three? and do it again. Do you mean seven? Or I guess he has to pay one mana. What's seven? So six. Juicy Apprentice has arrived. All right. Oh, okay. That's the point <laughs> of this deck. Let me read it. Utter End. Okay. Island. Oh. His, his plan just... is actually to mill us out. <laughs> Draw you out. <laughs> uh... Tomer's been helping this entire time. <laughs> Yay, helping. Draining Welk. Guard Gomazoa. <laughs> Guard and <Gomazoa>. Forest. <laughs> How is that? Guard Gomazoa. Sometimes you just really what? need some defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my but creatures are like one that. threes. I need to block, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Leave the jellyfish oh alone. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I never thought I'd see Richard with a jellyfish defender in his deck. Uh, I bet it combos or something, that's why. Out of nowhere, he guard Gomazoa <laughs> infinitely mills us. I infinitely make guard Gomazoa and just block. <laughs> Ooh. Channelers. Wait, what? Moldiah channels? I have mana dorks! You I just haven't the seen any. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, now we get to see the top of Tomer's deck. Well, how about that I'm second excited. Magister of Earth, huh? Let's <laughs> see. The poor man's Oracle of Moldaya. Ooh, Yisan. Ooh. That's a Yisan. Ooh. I would like to play it, but I cannot. Were there any cards for Moldaya in the the second Zendikar set that actually ma manipulated or involved the top of the library, like Oracles and Chandlers does? Uh, no, it was just no. uh, <laughs> all those colorless Eldrazi. <laughs> <laughs> and allies, Battle for, right? Battle for Zendikar was the Jun Lands of Return Two sets. I think uh, what Jun yeah, Lands was to Commander decks. What is... I was so excited for like, this post-apocalyptic environment where people were hiding from like Eldrazi monstrosities and like the wastes of their homes. And what we got was just another war, just another war. We've had plenty of wars <laughs> in Magic. It was like allies versus tentacle men. Like, oh, it was just, yeah, it was nonsense. Um, I think Shadows of Innistrad was a better Eldrazi block yeah. than <laughs> Battle of Zendikar. Uh, yeah, it actually might have been, strangely. Uh, mm. Weird, Look. weird times. Hopefully, I have faith that Ravnica is not going to be like that. The return to Ravnica yeah. was actually pretty on point. So I, if they, like, charms, shocklands, guilds, like, I don't think they can mess up Ravnica. I would be very disappointed. And after, after Dominario as well, I have high hopes for what they do with the Nostalgia Factor and stuff as well. I'm pretty, I'm very excited. Uh, I think it's it's to return to a turn. I didn't realize yeah. Tomer has like 6-6 six, six beasts. <laughs> yeah, Tomer's just going to town. Oh, I cast this in the wrong order, didn't I? Ow! Or Dang it. You cast in oh, man. Overrun? No. It's a bygone bishop. I guess I've, I've drawn enough cards, so it's not really the biggest oh, deal. Tomer, Tomer, Tomer. No, I take that back, obviously. Obviously. I did. <laughs> How would we feel about me wrapping this nonsense away? Uh, I wouldn't feel good about it. Wait. That's one vote against <laughs> I'm fine. Let me see it. what I draw for my turn. I might, I might be on board with that. You um, have like one creature that you can return to your hand. <laughs> Seth, <laughs> how do you guess? The bit, um, how do you feel about taking fourteen damage right now? Uh, you don't want me to be Why your you enemy, do you, Tomer? Pop I, I Sentinel to Totem, and I won't you attack you. Set. Oh, I see. Well, what if I take? What if I take fourteen and then then you'll rats? be down to ten? I think you need to hit Seth because Seth's just going to mill someone. I some want point. that board. That I want that graveyard gone. Like it's just it's ridiculous. You have sixteen <laughs> cards in the graveyard. You're in your graveyard I, deck. I need the wrath now. I actually need the wrath. So that, hit that me hit me if you need to. But I, I really I got... I'd rather not, but <laughs> you're allowing the graveyard player to just do his For thing. One more one more turn to wrath your board. For one more turn. But hit him, hit him anyway. <laughs> I don't like this. Everyone's <laughs> Everyone's against me now. I just think that people should Maybe attack each other. I think I'm just going to take the damage and then wrath the graveyard anyway. Hmm. Just to show both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own man. Can't tell me what to do. Oh, Tomer, why are you hitting me? With you just said you're going to wrath the board. Do you, are you not going to wrath the board? 
Yeah, you could just. If you hit Seth, if you hit Seth, I won't wrath the board. Wait, no, wait, right. no. Then I'll exile the graveyard if you if he's not gonna wrath the board. <laughs> Somebody, if you do something, <laughs> I'll exile. If you exile my, I will, if you exile my graveyard, Seth, Seth, I'm gonna blow up all your artifacts. Whoa, with I, what? Really? I'm yes. all right, Tomer. I will exile the graveyard right now if you don't attack me. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Poor Toma. He's stuck to the. Why couldn't we offense. settle this before the attack phase? <laughs> okay, okay. I've got, I've got, I've got another option for you. Attack Richard. That is always the right choice. We forgot about that. What? <laughs> I want either the board not being wiped or the graveyard gun. One of the two. If you attack Seth or Richard, I won't use any of my removal on you for one turn. There you go. I, I. Uh... Don't attack me and I'll exile the graveyard. So it sounds like if you attack Richard, you get rid of the graveyard and dodge <laughs> dodge removal for a turn. <laughs> Don't do it, Tober. <laughs> what, what are you going to offer me, Richard? <laughs> I offer not to tap down yourself. <laughs> this is the greatest uh... politics I don't know who I'm mo most Ever. afraid of is the thing. Why don't you just Maybe. hit Vince? Because he's going to wrath anyway. No? Why are you hitting But me? hitting Seth doesn't accomplish anything, right? It does. It puts him close to dead. And he's the one who's got the advantage. But Maybe then he's definitely not going to use the graveyard removal. Because he needs the wrath to go off. He's going he's gonna to use the graveyard removal after the wrath anyway. After the wrath, yeah. Happen. I'm afraid uh, if you hit me, then Vince just won't wrath and try to attack me instead. Well, That's he my won't fear. wrath because he said he wouldn't if I attacked you. I still think you should attack Richard, personally. <laughs> no, it has to that, be that one of you. That doesn't thin the oh, board or the graveyards. <laughs> just, just block so you don't get the crack back. I vote for attacking wait, Richard. Wait, wait. If I attack Richard, will you not wipe the board and Seth does the Sentinel totem? Sure. So I win-win? Win-win? It's a win-win. You're not going to win-win if you attack the blue player with open mana. <laughs> oh, what's he going to have? Can't have cryptic. <laughs> That's true. Or it was he can't have nine cards by deck five years ago, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Vince is not using removal on my spell on all my stuff for one turn. I'm attacking Seth. Oh, all right. I'm not attacking into four meta when when Richard has nine cards in hand and he has cheap a low converted mana cost. So wait, how do you have nine? Oh, Savali. So yeah. Remember the Savali over here. And, and Richard, you're, you're not untap. You're yeah, not tapping down Savali. Yes. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, good. Done. Done. Let us let's move this game. All right. That was the sweetest <laughs> deal of, of them all, I think. Well, now Vince just rats because I don't exile his No, he said either. he wouldn't. Now, he didn't say he wouldn't wrath. He said he yeah, wouldn't he said your he, stuff with removal. He wouldn't use removal on my stuff. <laughs> the board wipe is removal. It is the removal. No, no a rat no, I said, is not I don't know about this I, I, I said I wouldn't use removal on your stuff exclusively. Yeah, a rat what? is... Arrested Are you doing semantics? Removal. Because I'm going to hold that against you for every single game if you do that. <laughs> there is no semantics. If you I'm are just, going just, to be like, oh, I, I didn't say board wipe, I, really, but I, I kind of implied it, I'm going to go after you a, for every game. Brilliant. You know this. This. I, this is the first time I've ever heard Toma mock someone by like, doing a Because Tom did this to me last season. <laughs> and I can't do a British accent. <laughs> You would offend so many people at once, Tomer. I know. <laughs> oh. If you do that, if you pull that on me, then I'm going to have to go for you for like at least a couple episodes. I'm throwing it. In like fairness, this happened this is the with first Tom. Time in the class you haven't gone for me. This happened I... with Tom, and that is how I dealt with it. Don't don't make it happen again this season. I'm just throwing it out there. It's on I... you. If you want to mince words. I'm not mincing words. I'm just saying. You knew I that didn't I didn't say... want you to board wipe. That was the implication. That's what I asked of you. And then you gave me Indeed. a response that indicated that to I me. I not use my removal on you. If I you board wipe. <laughs> and that was the what thing I was afraid saying. of. I'm going for you. We'll have to see what happens in my turn, won't we, Tony? Well, I just wanted to make my stance on this very clear. Because <laughs> this happened once. And I'm already prepared for it mentally. Well, Seth, let's, get your let's go get, get your some abacus popcorn. Out. <laughs> Vince has a very interesting turn coming up. Hmm. Don't be that guy. Someone going to kill me? That's the big question. 
<laughs> Tolbert <laughs> just hit you for 18 or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get the game going. Of all things, I have to be the aggressive one this game. What has, I what has see happened the comments to this now place? as well? They're gonna be like, why do they argue so much? This is gonna be so much. Do they it, hate each so other in politics. real life? Why are mommy and daddy fighting? <laughs> <laughs> Toma, this this new sleep deprived Toma is a whole different beast. Quick, un un unfollow each other on Twitter right now. <laughs> new feud? Oh my goodness, we could run that into such good YouTube drama. It would be great. <laughs> Hit the front page of the magic subreddit. <laughs> I just have to come to a um, uh, GP Vegas next year and punch one of you in a bar. <laughs> Alright, ingester. Oh yeah. my oh, goodness. Totally oh. forgot about this card. What are you ingesting? Is this ingest? Are you doing You're not ingesting joke? my stuff. In <laughs> the stuff that just attacked me? <laughs> you I can't. Don't get in, in between me and my card shop. <laughs> what draws cards over there? Actually, not I should probably just get a beast. Uh, maybe I just spite exile Savala. Oh. <laughs> You do not want to get between me and Silvala, Seth. I think that's oh the only Oh my card. goodness. <laughs> you just attacked oh boy. me. You Oof. attacked me. Oof. All right. I need a minute. I need a second. <laughs> you, sh you shouldn't have swung those beasts at me. It was the right call. Uh, Vince is wrathing anyway. If he does, then that, that does I not clearly, bode well for all future I, episodes of him. <laughs> you just got yourself all ingested by Seth, but you're still mad at me and I haven't done anything yet. I'm, I I'm not mad at you, I'm just... I'm just rapping. I getting ready to get mad. <laughs> he is, isn't he? He's like revving the engine. This <laughs> happened last time with, with Tom, and then I had to like legalese him every single time. Like, by, by not removing my spells, do you mean A... B, C, every single time, and it slowed down the game, and it was awful. It was awful. I don't want it to happen again. Can I? But yeah, I'm there's no legal list needed. I'm just, I just reiterate that I did not say that I would use my removal on you. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't use a global effect that may remove. Right, that is the legal there. Fast priority. There. <laughs> Fast priority. I'm going to work <laughs> oh, wait, on the this? assumption. Whoa. Oh, it's spells. Dang it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, I was distracted. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and the thing is, that card probably would have been really valuable later in it the game. It would have. To resolve something. It would have been so good. I thought it was abilities. It works against everyone on this table, but you chose the one I thing know. it didn't work against. It was only point zero two tickets. <laughs> Why did... Oh, because Savala went to the command zone, the ingestor didn't get any bigger. Yeah, unfortunately. But that was really just a spike. It doesn't even block a beast. <laughs> Alright, Vince. Right. Alright, let's see this wrath. <sighs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. Don't be that guy. I'm not being any guy. <laughs> You're being a guy. <laughs> that is true. You're both guys. <laughs> <laughs> when are you blowing up my graveyard, Seth? I need to know. Um, well, are you wrathing? I can't really wrath, can I? There was a verbal contract that was gone into, and if I break that verbal contract, Toma apparently will hunt me down and kill me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this oh. is correct. Uh, so I need to be very... I, I'm just... I fear for my safety, okay? <laughs> like, uh, I will swim that ocean. Uh, I, uh, I don't know then. I don't know. I was going to wait till after the wrath, but if we're not wrathing... At the least convenient time for you. <laughs> We're not and I'm gonna, um, now. And I'm going to hold that against you for one more episode than Tomer would hold it against you if you did rap. This is this is getting silly now, isn't it? This is getting a little bit silly. Yeah. I'm going to have to cast this then. You're actually not rapping. What are you casting? What's in your graveyard? Ooh. Grave Ooh. betrayal. Wait, so when anything dies, he gets it? It's very good for yes. setting up board wipes. Okay, that that seems that seems like a good card. <laughs> it means his disciple bolus will be unblockable with my Tetsuko. <laughs> That's not what we're afraid. Oh no, <laughs> he's getting a Tetsuko. <laughs> you don't have to give him a Tetsuko. You can give him. A... I guess that's not even. Wait, no, 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 no. It exiles oh, to the command zone. It's all good. You're fine. You're fine. It's just gonna cost more than I can spend to cast. Uh, does this mean I have to sack my commander so Vince doesn't get the ingester? 
Or when things die, you can blow up my graveyard. But it goes to my graveyard. It, yeah, but blow up everyone's if you totem, it blows up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you give him an ingester, he's immediately going to ingest something when it enters the battlefield on his side. That is true, and then I can ingest something that isn't yours, maybe, Seth. Are you, are you not going to ingest my Arcanus? Well, I mean, you're holding me hostage with that Sentinel totem now, so I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, I'll sack my, I'll sack my commander then. <laughs> Pro- there we go. Problems. We need to keep Seth alive to use the graveyard. <laughs> we can't yeah, deal don't with kill this. Me, don't worry. I got this the, is the like graveyard. This like the here. most important permanent on the battlefield. <laughs> I got the power. Keep me alive. Make me happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm getting thirsty, Tomer. Can you get me a drink, please? <laughs> here you go. <laughs> uh, Does that catch on the mic? <laughs> yeah, I actually heard it. Whoa, Vince. Vince, Vince, Vince. Somebody has to die, Seth. Why me? Because I can smell blood. You're on ten life. That was the logic used before, if I recall. No, the logic last week that I had too many non-basic <laughs> lands. So this week I on purpose no, no, no. played only basic lands. First it was because you had too many non-basic lands. <laughs> oh, that was actually clever. <laughs> yep, so this Thomas. week this week Seth can't target me because I have too many non basics. I don't have any non basics. First first was you had too many non basics and then he targeted you the second time because you were at the lowest life, right? Oh, is that yes, one two? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Well I am I am happy and proud that you decided not to to board wipe. We are cool, Vince. Yeah. We are cool. I'm always cool. But now you're as cool What's, as a cucumber. What on earth is this gonna become? I don't know. Oh, it could be like... Yisan! Yisan! Oh, wait, no. no, no. Bygone <laughs> Bishop, maybe. Maybe Moldaya. Maybe Carador, if like there's Carador. something you want to play from the graveyard. Carador seems like a... Super... <laughs> that is a word. Burnish Heart gets a blade. Why does Silvala keep dying? I can't really do much about her. <laughs> How much does Arcanus cost now? A lot. Ten, I think. You've got the mana. He's also drawn yeah. the most cards. That's true. Actually, that's not true. Uh, Vince has actually, well, not drawn the most. At least no, I haven't drawn them. They're in my graveyard, not being used, has, about to be exiled. Ha- has the least amount of cards in library. Yes, we Oh no! Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's made me very unhappy. Sounds like you want to wrap. Well, you're gonna wrap anyway. Nope. Why, why would I wrap? Because you get all the creatures. Oh, wait, actually, you don't get the tokens either, right? Nah, I don't really get that much, to be fair. So I'm actually much more inclined to hopefully have you and Seth die at some point. Uh, I so wish I had Autumn's Veil still. My goodness. <laughs> that card is like the best card that I could possibly have at this table. Ah, why is it not abilities too? Come on, Autumn's Veil. Why don't you be OP? I can't do anything. I, I should have copied a 1-2 so I could attack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, flashback Marauder could have been a one oh, three, yes. three one. That could have uh, oh, yeah, You can attack sure. with Fate Stitcher. Or Fate I, just, I just cast it. Doesn't apply to you. Give it right. haste. Does, does, it, does it stay as a character until next? Yeah. Turn? Every turn I can change the target of it. This is the thing. I want to be attacking people in any of the game, but then you're making me choose between that and drawing cards, and that's just <laughs> not. That's just not. So choose, cho- choose no main phase and hit Richard till he's I dead. I need to cast spells, though. This. Oh, I, I hate Fate Spinner so much. It might be one of my least favorite commander cards because this is what happens. Yeah, then it just becomes like an everybody's <laughs> playing Seth. We game. all have seven cards <laughs> in hand. <laughs> just like, we're not like on zero resources here. I don't. <laughs> Tomer's gone. I don't have <laughs> any removal. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, your Savala's gone. Tomer, I think you should punish Richard for for his his tone. Can now. you make Fate <laughs> Spinner fly, and then I will be able to take care of it? I promise. <laughs> Is it a plumber? <laughs> it might be. It might be a predator. <laughs> it might be a predator flagship. Who knows? But uh, you also are on the p- <laughs> two no, predator I'm not, flagships. I'm not running in one horrible game. cards. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I so want to skip draw step, but that physically makes me ill. Um. So I will combat phase. What do I do? I, <sighs> I mean, cast stuff. How do we end this game? I don't know, Richard. Maybe you should stop playing Fate Spinner. Well, I want you guys to end it, but not with me going out, you see? <laughs> don't attack me. Attack other people. Let's, is let's up. go, searching, Yisan. Searching for the one drop. Yisan, Yisan, Yisan. Oh, man. So, Manadork, 
then you untap him with Mage Ring, then you tap him again to go and get, um, what's the green two? Scrib Ranger. Then you untap him again, go and get something else. You think Love this lunch. is a combo deck, but it's not. <laughs> not a combo, but like a big, a big turn. It's also, we're also uh, okay with the board wipes going forward, so I also don't want to overcommit to the board and then just have it all wiped. Wait, you want me to Wrath now? No, but you said for one turn, that was our agreement. So. Well, you, wow. To be fair, you, you're not going to attack with your creatures anyway. So, what's the point in having them in play? Maybe I'll just play a pioneer. Yeah, that's value. How do I draw this card? Prey upon, please. Oh, I guess I didn't play my land for the turn yet, did I? Why are you playing prey upon? Because it's yeah, it's removal. But you play white. There's no white removal there. <laughs> it's cheap. It's <laughs> one mana. Are you, is, are you playing Jamoka's command? Because that's probably. That's probably. Cheap, right? That's. I bet that's more expensive than our budget. Yeah, it does see a bit of play modern, like as a one off in like a tier two deck. Oh no. The card's great. The card's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dramoko's man is good. Did you did you mess up? Yeah, I was supposed to use some Moldiah Channelers instead of the mana. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, whoops. If only they gained the ability to prey upon people and to prey upon on top of the library, eh? That is unfortunate. Ooh, the old untap and Let's see spin what else again. I got. Spin the wheel. What can I get that's relevant? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no two drops. There are two drops, which just all like, ooh, I'll tap this for mana. I mean, I probably will just get Scrib Ranger. It also is protected from blue, which is kind of neat. Ew. That is good. Um, that's good seven turns. How does well, the prey yeah, upon yeah. still on top of my <laughs> library? What happened? <laughs> you just shuffled, shuffled back into it. Apparently, that's definitely a motive. What? Scries don't really work right at the moment either. Do they? What? That All right. Happen. Well, that was my turn. Can't attack. And you know what will happen is if you report that on Reddit, people just tell you, "Well, it's a random shuffler. It is random. That has to be a chance that happening." Oh, it happened. Oh. Oh wow, it is happening. happening. Yes. Sodom has been pop popped. Goodbye, Autumn's Veil vale forever. I'll miss you. Quickly turn a counter it with Autumn's Veil. Vale. <laughs> <laughs> uh this feels bad, but in response to your sentinel totem, Wait, you want a you? one one flyer in play? <laughs> Wait, what? Sorta. Of. What? Is that a six mana one one I flyer? Don't, why, why would he cast um, so It's also he... an illusion. Is he trying to get his ninja the deep hours out? <laughs> Is he so going to to his combo? six mana flying one uh, one invasion? No. Mono blue devotion? Uh, no. I can't even attack. There's a fate spinner. You can. You I'm just gonna choose assume not your to. six mana one one wasn't there for the attacking power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's do this. Is this some sort of bounce spell? Sort of. Okay. Go and the shore. Oh, Is it a spooky cyclonic shore? rift? I think I'm over tapping. There we go. Are you about to bounce everyone's board and win because no one finished you off. <gasps> oh my! Uh, oh, he's ingesting the board. What? Some some ingesters? You can't exile okay. my screw ranger. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's true. Uh, all right. So let's think about this. Uh, Richard, do you not have any counter magic? No. Get rid of that. <laughs> you have five mana up. I was assuming there was counter magic here. Have you been bluffing the entire time? No, I actually don't have anything no. to counter that. <laughs> oh, the bluffs are good. Oh. The bluffs are strong. I mean, no! he's not even ingesting my stuff. Mana my mana. card draw, how dare you? <laughs> Uh, all right. Did, did he just ingest these, Tober's board? That's it. What he ingested <laughs> just my board. No, my Carador and your Carador. I got everyone's. Yeah. Okay. He basically doesn't like ghosts. You took away my Carador. <laughs> you got monster. both the Caradors. You attacked me that turn when you really didn't need to. Because you were not <laughs> popping the stupid Sentinel totem. <laughs> and now I popped it. See, See it worked. Killed Seth. This would have happened. How and is this supposed I... to kill Seth? Now maybe I can kill you. Uh, Why did you flash the one one in? What was you the left reason? the fate spinner alive? So there's no you're not killing anybody because you're drawing <laughs> cards. Let's be honest. I just uh, just wanted the one one. No reason. No reason. <laughs> Do you have a flash clone in hand? <laughs> oh, that's probably. Uh, Is there a flash clone? Would you clone? like to know? 
There's got to be a reason, and I don't know why. It has okay. It's a count. It's a flash clone that costs five, and he didn't have mana for six for draining walk. Skip combat as usual. Yeah, I still don't understand why the draining walk is there. <laughs> Does he have to bounce a permanent uh, in order to cast his spell? Up, th it did up the storm count by one. This game's going long. Oh, need okay. a nappy nap. Hey, there's devotion. Hmm, desertion. We'll allow this. <laughs> Rewind, but why? Why the draining well? Because he still has a flash clone. Because <laughs> <No? laughs> he gets to untap four I lands. Yes. What? There is like one flash clone. It came from conspiracy set, I think. Oh wait, what? Is there a counter spell in Absent? There's an Autumn's Veil. Do you have Autumn's Veil? <laughs> it's a really good card. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you imagine if it was? It was so good. Uh, uh, I don't think he has stunt double. It costs too much online. So, no flash clown. Yeah, alright. Sure. Wait, but that doesn't even do anything. Yeah, well, what? <laughs> he has like five other copies. You should have got the, the draining walk because he, he needs that for some reason. Oh, like. but then Grave Oh, gets he gets one. Back. But where are you going to exile? Probably the draining well, because I'm so scared. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's that or a 5 6. Or the Fate Spinner. Can't believe I hate a 1 2 so much. Let's just try to spin some Fate over here. Just leave it alone. It slows the game! <laughs> and I'm the aggressive one. What is going on? So, this the, is so there's, there's world. no blockers in this deck. Hence, you see Guard come as a like Fate Spinner. <laughs> Yeesh. I mean, that is like a really good pseudo ghostly prison if you treat it as a ghostly oh, prison. Oh, wait, what? Have you got disallow? disallow? What is this? <laughs> I, I want my ingester back. What? What? Uh, what? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> is this really a thing that's happening? I love the art here. <laughs> the max value gather <laughs> specimens. <laughs> I guess, wow. I guess we'll get rid of this. So Seth is going to win because no one would kill him when he was low. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Fate Spinner. Why won't people die? Because Fate Spinner would have let us attack at the same turn as draw cards. <laughs> no, it would have let you attack Tomo. You just decided not to because... I need to draw cards. I don't know. <laughs> you don't want to cause friction in the workplace. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <sighs> and now my lands are being blocked by all the exiled things. <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> Yeah, your board is a mess at the moment. What did you even... Oh, you got rid of the Fate Spinner. Yeah, Fate Spinner, uh, Stitcher down. But it doesn't even bother you. Actually, you might want to attack this coming turn. I call as strange as that sounds. I call shenanigans yeah, on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that. I mean, the game does got to end at some point. It does, doesn't it? I need coffee number two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you yes. saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> I got defense. Why can't they F6 or F8? What Leave is going on here? Oh, it's that stupid Scrib Ranger. Not worth yeah. the pro blue. If you bounce all of your forest to your hand, you can um, F8. That, that's true. I can block draining Welk profitably. It's Watch tempting. Alright. Um, do I just kill Seth? Is that where can, we're at? How do you even kill Seth? Can, through, can like, you actually just kill me? Blockers? Yeah. Cast a couple of spells, give Scrib Ranger some pump and hit Richard, him. Richard, oh, you're not countering this. Probably not, oh my so. goodness. Correct? How do you, yeah, how do you, how are you killing him? I'm just hurricaning him for, for lethal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're watting for lethal? Oh, I should uh, I should attack first with my Scrib Ranger that's going to die. Oh, no. Oh, my guard, oh Golazola. <laughs> Wait, are you... How are you... Oh, Hurricane. Is it Hurricane? Yeah. Hurricane. Nice. Well, I like it. Um, just getting a scrim spice at a go. <laughs> you know if you do this, Wait. you guys will never kill each other. Why? Why? Because no one has a board except me. I could actually kill people, Tomer. Let me kill Richard and then kill me. Oh, Tomer don't, don't, don't listen to him. Just blow him up and then try and win me a board. I can just swing everything at Richard next turn and... Isn't Hurricane... Is it an instant? No. Yeah, but you have counter magic, oh, and then we'll be able to cast it again. Can. Yeah, I guess like, I am tapped if you out. weren't the blue player, then I would have maybe agreed with that. But if you have any counter spell, then I can't actually kill you. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. 
Um, I am going to attack with the Scrib Ranger first for maximum value. And that will make uh, my previous horrible plays a lot better because at least I got an extra one damage out of it. And I can't attack the Gomazoa, but I'm going to attack the person who has the highest life total. Huzzah! Oh, you could Look at that maximum the Gamazoa, value. Though. It's blue. <laughs> oh! Uh, edit it out! Edit it! Please! <laughs> please! In all fairness... It, it was a medicine oh, jellyfish, I understand. Too. I t I it's, it's 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 a lack of the most powerful defense. It's basically like blue. small emerald. Just look at it. Even pro blue creatures can't stop it. Do I just want to do maximum value? Is days in the budget? Yeah, days is like really expensive. Ah, hurricane. Bye. Good game. Oh. oh. What? Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! He's just getting some lands. <laughs> just double checking there. Wait, does he get Goodbye, his own Scrib creatures? Goodbye, Scrib Ranger. Yeah. Can't stop that. Huzzah! Yeah, that'll, that'll teach you to gather specimens. <laughs> you your jester, won't it? it was my Phyrexian <laughs> Jester. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, now Vince gets a creature. Oh, he, he can use Scrib Sprites. I though. get the guard, Gomazoa. Oh, yes! And he gets my Scrib Ranger. <laughs> With a counter, no less. Are you ready for the, the big... Look at it, it's a 2-4 <laughs> blue-black zombie jellyfish. Too much value over here. Alright, well, that was, that was it for me. How much does Carador cost now? Literally a million mana. Oh, you have no graveyard. <laughs> he has a yeah. graveyard, but it's not a good graveyard yet. Two two creatures in there. So you're on 38 and Richard's on 12. And I know if I start gunning for you, Chamber, Richard's going to win. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I think mm. I think the Golgari slash Abzan player has a better chance against the creature-based deck anyway. You don't really want to go up against blue shenanigans. <laughs> I'd rather face Seth. Because how am I going to try and beat you? I'm going to try and beat you with creatures. Oh. And as soon as you kill Wait. my creatures, you get this? them back with Grave Betrayal. So odds are you're probably going to beat me in that regard. I need to make a board state. That's my first part of the plan. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's a Cassie Cage Breakers. Yeah, it would have been so good earlier, but I knew if I played it, everyone would attack me, so I had to like just sit with it in hand for the whole game. That's a good card with lots of creatures in the battlefield, or in the graveyard. So if I take Richard low enough, Tomo, you can finish him off. This is true. And then Richard would actually not win the game this, this time. It would make a change. <laughs> Be the change you want to see in the world. Kill Richard first. <laughs> Man in the mirror. Does Richard somehow win with blue shenanigans? This deck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame the deck, Richard. I mean, I can blame it. I built it. <laughs> but it, I did. Hmm. I really can't do anything. I, I have drawn all the wrong cards at all the wrong times here. Hmm. Oh! You can't do anything. Bounces everything. <laughs> he still keeps two of the creatures. Do I? Because they're blue. Only one of the creatures is blue. Oh, sorry, Secret Strike's not blue. No, oh, my god, that's all. <laughs> the that, that that means, <laughs> wow, that means that um, Tomo gets the uh, Scrib Ranger back, which makes yep. it... Yes, you can still get him. <laughs> you can still get him. Go, Scrib Ranger's going to be the MVP here. Uh, it's going to get... And I'm done. <laughs> all right. All right, that's land. I think still the best play is to try and recast Silvala. This hand's not going anywhere. That is a lot of mana, right? How much? Uh, like eight. Wow, that is a lot of mana. And then let's get the ranger back in. Well, what is this? Elvish Harbinger. Oh, wow. What elf are you going to reveal? I don't know. It's cool when you see cards from this format, though, that you wouldn't normally see, like Inundate, for example. Yeah, it's a sweet... There's a lot of board wipes and just cards in general that are great, but... They just get overshadowed a lot. Yeah, exactly. And there's still some staples, like, like I mentioned earlier, survival of the fittest being legal is just odd, right? Hmm. Let's go with this, why not? Alright. Wow. Wait, what did you reveal? Marwin, the nurturer. Why is my Scrib Ranger 3 3? Oh. Oh, yeah, the rhyme. Alright, that was silly. <laughs> okay. Wait, why is it pumped? Uh, the, the monument. monument. It's gonna go. Oh, it's gonna monument. go back down. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's grizzly salvage. Hey, let me. This card from the cards pushing the price of my deck up a little bit. Oh, 
Tenebs a good card. Do, do you want an Elvish Harbinger? Yeah, why not? Wait, what did you sacrifice? No, no, what did you sacrifice? Oh, the Gaizoa. Oh. No, it's a Gomozoa. Gaizoa, that's like a Japanese dumpling. Uh, oh, the Great Betrayal. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. What? Seems like a... What? Wait, what did he just do? Dread Return, isn't it? Dread Return oh, is dread a thing? Return. Yeah, it's cheap as chips. Wow. How much is it? It is 0 0.01 tickets. It is cheaper than... Uh, cheaper than Grizzly Salvage. You can buy five Dread Returns to the cost of one Grizzly Salvage. I think that's my turn. That was not a bad turn. Yes, come to me, Harbinger. I don't think I have any elves. Let's find out. kind of wanted that Harbinger for... Mana purposes. Oh, I don't have any elves. But it's a 2 3 elf druid zombie, so you know. There is that. So Richard has 7, now 8 cards in hand, doesn't he? None of them do anything. <laughs> what is this? This Kefnitz Monument is not that good. <laughs> it should actually tap things. It was really good earlier, stopping my Selvala, but right now it's not going to be very helpful. Some of my best cards are in Exile, and it makes me really sad. I love to cycle a Bolas. So, are you still attacking me, Tomer? <laughs> um, we can chill for a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> don't start making alliances now. Are you gonna Vince? Wrath of God? <laughs> I feel like I just lose to Vince, to be honest. Um, let's find out what happens. Oh God! Revealing. Now the creatures come. <laughs> Revealing death three. Re yeah, I'm just dead to Vince. What, yeah, no. yeah. How are you dead to Vince? That's the least convincing now. As your mage, alright, we're both dead to Vince. Game. You only got 14 damage. Um. Yeah, I got a 40 to you, Tamer. And you're gonna go, you're gonna gain more life. Right, but I win with creatures, and he has a lot of ways to deal with said creatures. Oh, is he killing? Hmm. I don't think I can let you gain more life. This might be a mistake, though, when you now play like a. Crater Hoof. Something gross. Crater Hoof can't be in there. <laughs> no, you can't have Autumn's Veil again. No. Uh, okay, you're going just for one more tap. <laughs> oh, I, ooh, I drew Survival of the Fittest. One more tap. Autumn's. <laughs> wow. And then you're going to find Autumn's Veil on a creature, right? I hope. Alright, yeah. But at least your Scrib Ranger is now rather tenacious. I mean, it is a 2 2 lifelink. It's got that going. Uh, but I don't really have any good plays now. But you can Bramble Crush the Grave. Yeah, I'm going to Bramble Crush the Grave, but it's not like this. This doesn't really deal with the situation. Oh, you can gain a whole bunch of life with Scrib Ranger. Wait, what gave it life? Link? Hang on. Yeah, tenacity, did. tenacity. You could hit Richard with that Scrib Ranger, and he can't block it. This is true. Or you could hit Vince. <laughs> and, I, and I block with my Archon of Justice. I guess that's true. But if you hit me, I'm going to die. You're going to die anyway, Richard. <laughs> I, I will, but he needs my help to kill you. You are free life at the moment. Where at the moment, it's Scrib Ranger dies to Born Overlord as well. I, I'm basically a fog, because you have to divert some exactly. power to me. You are, you are a free life. Uh, you're like a you're like an intravenous drip of blood for him at the end of the match. <laughs> no! Of course I'm getting rid of that. It's been so good. I know. <laughs> Oh, wait, do you have a wrath? No. You have, oh, wait, no, you wouldn't have played all this stuff if you had a wrath. Uh, I can get rid of that. I, I have a wrath. I can get rid of that. Hmm. You could... You have, tra you have trample. I do have trample. You could, like, two-shot Vince. Two-shot? Because <laughs> he has to dump all his creatures and pump with Sorry, what? Two-shot me? <laughs> I, I, I have I have twelve power of flying blockers as well. He can Wait. definitely kill you, Richard. Uh, he he definitely can. Oh, you have an archon too. I didn't see. Yeah. I thought you just had the. Uh, I really don't know what to guess. Uh. You're not gonna swing at me, right, Tomer? I don't have any infinite combo. Or I don't have any combo kills. Oh, now I've got to decide on who to kill. It's gonna be like work on Tomer. You could work on me. But you've also been, you know, chipping away at my stuff with the utter ends and everything, so... It's not quite a surprise that I am sweeping some stuff at you as well. Oh, no, no, I get that. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I mean, this would be free life for you, but now I'm going to block it and exile something, aren't I? 
Is it actually possible any of you beat Vince? I mean, slowly but surely, uh, maybe. If it's 2v1, it could happen. I mean, I killed Richard this turn, probably. Yeah. But, I mean, he's got mana up, and he's probably saved, saved stuff to... He's not interacting with the board in any way unless it definitely threatens his life total. Indeed. I mean, it's a one-turn fog. Wait, do you get lifelink forever? No, right? It's from Tenacity. Does killing that abhorrent overlord do anything? It allows me to recast it out of the graveyard. Well, you'd have to cast Carador, but you have the mana for it at this point. I also have survival in hand, so I can dump all the creatures in my hand to make Carador cost less. Survival? What? Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. You revealed it off Savala. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Do you have a creature that rats? No. <laughs> that bounces? <laughs> Anything? <laughs> I can kill the abhorrent overlord, but that's it. At instant speed or something? No, like speed? right now. Nah, leave it to kill Richard. The, that's how you want to kill it, right? Then you can't kill me. Five, six, seven. If I get rid of you, it? You why would you. Why if you get rid of it, you around? can't kill you. To help him beat you. So. <laughs> I mean, why, can't you help, why can't you help me beat Richard Atoma? Why 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 do you have to help to beat me? I guess that's true, but hmm. Oh uh, yeah, I just, I just... <laughs> Vince has just been so scary, I never actually thought about it. But Vince realistically I could I could deal twenty five and I could deal fifty. But I'm at the mercy of Vince, so I want Toma to help me, right? <laughs> It, it wouldn't if, be to command a class if you weren't teaming up on me. <laughs> if I kill that horn I mean, yeah. overlord, you, you'd leave me alone, Richard? What am I going to hit you with? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it's really if you want to spare my life. I don't. I can't. I can't answer Vince's shenanigans at this point. Your shenanigans I, are pretty straightforward. I, I, you just I can, hit and draw I can cards. Do stuff. Yeah. Also, it gains me six more life. But you lose your script thingy. I do. But, I mean, what am I going to do? Cast Savala, hope that she doesn't get killed for her turn, and then get value out of it? I will so snap off this scroll thief block, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you must have, like, living death or something. One of those effects must be, like, really Living cheap. death is very expensive. The what color just drew, though, is not. Rise of the Dark Realms? That what would do it. One of these. I, one of these would be cheap. It's very unlikely that Vince is not going to win this. So I, I gave it. I gave it my my best. It's hard without the monument. With the monument, you might have been able to kill him. But with, without the monument, yeah, oh, survival is a wait, thing. Plus survival. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. The one ticket staple. It, no, actually, it's point zero two tickets. <laughs> Clarify. You can cast I have it in my deck too. Also, greater good is point zero two tickets, which is just it makes the format so weird. <laughs> Cause like I can't I can't run land of war elves because it's too expensive. But survival of fittest is okay. How have you not discarded to hand size, Richard? Oh, I oh, drew because a, it was a your cards. turn. You survived like a billion times. <laughs> and I got lanes. <laughs> if you leave me alone, Vince, I won't I won't muck with your stuff either. Oh. And I'll just sit that here and watch you guys kill each other. There, there, there is no <laughs> way you will not turn on me. That's well, like I, I, have, I have no position. Uh okay, we will wait, do I want to keep a blocker around for value? <laughs> wait, I might need this card. <laughs> maximum greed. <laughs> I mean, like, he has exactties on me. However, what's the worst yeah, that can I mean, happen? I'll just block this, this two three thing. Probably a good idea. Yeah, sure. I know because I could draw. I don't know what I could draw. It's another. It's an extra draw. But it's cool. All right, then let's cast this because it seems pretty fun. Is it Rise of the Dark Realms? That probably. It's, it's kind of better. <laughs> better. Uh oh. Pure revival. Oh, I get my Scrib Ranger back. Huzzah! W with a minus one, minus one counter. No. <laughs> yes, my <by> wall. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a lot of stuff happening. That didn't. Okay, that okay, didn't okay. work so, out uh, in in, in uh, my favor. Abzan ascendancy. Ascend, my Abzan army. Oh, that's not good. I still feel like I'm going to lose. I don't know why. What? It's probably because of how how badly the commander classes have gone for me. I it all right. Long term plans. I really, I was really hoping to see a uh, a gather specimens right there. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, that would have been that would have been pretty good. If only Seth had held it out for actual value. <laughs> uh I was dead though. I would have loved to be sitting there with my graveyard hate spell, but. So, Richard, what are you going to do in your turn with all that mana and all those cards? 
Well, first, I need to see what answers I have in my deck. <laughs> I would be shocked if you have a way to get out of this. Okay, wait. This goes third from the top? Oh, yes. Is, so Scroll Thief can yeah, draw you. It's very slow. Slightly closer. Slightly. <laughs> okay, so it's third from the top right so now. So now you need to draw two cards to get it. I mean, on top of your draw phase. So it's second from the top. Can you scry? But wait, we have... Oh, so, oh your Sylvalva's dead. <laughs> Indeed. That is what she does. Can I can I hit you for one Tomer to go one deeper? You may. I if I had Autumn's it. Fail, I would have had Sylvalva. <laughs> wait, what? Triple, double, double block the Skull Thief, Tamer. How hilarious would that be? <laughs> Th think of the comment section. Think of the viewers at home. <laughs> I had I had I had plans for Seth for a backstab. I'll be honest, but <laughs> but it never panned out. With this, I will allow. R Richard, is this you trying to be on my side now? Is it? Uh, this is me drawing a card, and I can't draw a card by hitting you. But yes, you can interpret it as that. <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 whittling me down for you. I'm whittling him down. <laughs> See the magic happen. Oh, I'm not close enough. I can't. <laughs> I can't get to the card yet. Uh, how do we ponder? Preordain. No, nope. I'm pretty sure those were not in budget. Opt. Yeah, I think all of those are out of budget. Opt. Opt's I, I, I can tap well, down right? his stuff at instant speed. No, <laughs> I can just tap down his creatures. Well, my, my three damage is not gonna get there. What's the biggest threat? Oh, what's this? Uh, that's tapped down, probably just the most damage. Flesh Another card that draws cards. Welcome to Commander Clash, kids. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Mono Blue Edric, basically. <laughs> I love it. Wait, what does Tenab do? Play. It just reanimates something? But he just reanimated everything, right? So it doesn't. No, Tenab reanimates your stuff as well. Oh, I don't have anything useful. <laughs> I get a Scrib Ranger. Yes. <laughs> Watch out, boys! Right, first we build a board. The first step is to have creatures. <laughs> what is this? What? So you're just hoping that you survive for a turn? Yeah, see, he has to choose, right? Me or you. That is kind of true. He doesn't, I don't think he has enough power to, maybe he does, I don't know how to do the math. <laughs> uh, I guess we don't need mask of memory. Alright, I'm drawing that. Uh, <laughs> nope. Um... Alright, someone do the math. How much power does Vince actually have? I don't 14, know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna 15, remove. 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, <laughs> Why do I have to come up with all the answers? Uh, play this. I really don't think it's going to actually get there in time, though. So I'm probably just going to cast this and hope for the best. Get there in time? What's this? A disc? Don't disc me, bro. Look at that. Approach for the second side. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> I just need to get oh, wait, you could, what? You could seven more draw phases. Long. Ooh, yeah. But you don't have her. Oh baby, that could, that could get you there. Oh baby, wait, how many cards deep is it? Seven. Seven? <laughs> okay, all right. Put three guys. Counters. We're two and a half hours in. I don't. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, Vince, you all win. All you need to do Game is give well. an overrun <laughs> or double strike effect. You could kill us both. Yeah, I think Vince wait, has. Wait, this. Wait, what does ascendancy do? Does it do anything crazy? Just when things die. I have like yeah. I have a big beater, but I just don't think cost so much man. I would take my entire turn and it just dies to whatever. So would it die? Like reanimate Fleshbag Rotter or whatever. Uh, my my board's so busy I can't even see my survival through like random things. Yeah, like survival for any creature removal. Are there overrun creatures? Crater hoof. Yeah, there's the Crater Hoof's not in the budget, but the yeah. um the one that has emerge from Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah, yeah. oh Terracidon, alright. Triskelion. Is Micaeus in the budget? No, I wish he was. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> he has a Triskelion. Yeah. Where's that instant speed tap down? Uh nope. See ya, Tober. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>
<laughs> well, six more draw steps. Here I go. Oh, he's just straight up going for me. Yeah, I mean, this has gone on for quite some time, hasn't it? I think I survive a combat step. Oh, what is this? Is he king making? Oh, okay. <laughs> But now you get to draw the card you were looking forward to. Uh, yes. Can you untap all my mana, uh, Tomer? <laughs> I should have. Sh I should have shot sure you again in response can. to make sure you can draw it. Like, I, I am shot. dead. I'll okay. be joining you soon. No attack with all creatures. Bring this back. Bring this back. Mm, no blocks. Uh, are these all are these all like mana dorks? What are mana dorks here? Sorry. Yep. Cool. Except for the pioneer. Pioneer is just useless. Oh, derp. I just actually clicked the wrong one. I meant to shoot the zero one. Yay! <laughs> I just shot the wrong one. Ah, oh, misplay. Marwin saves um, the day. Let's go ahead and cast the Tarastad on then. Because I, just want, I don't know if I'm overextending into some sort of wrath, but I guess I've got an ascendancy and stuff, haven't I? So it's not so bad. All right, all you gotta do yes. is fumigate and then Tormod's crypt, and you've got this. Oh, that God. is <laughs> not <laughs> If fumigate was in your deck as well, and this green white creature deck. Nope, I'm just kidding. The so this deck has a lot of mana dorks, and I just did not have them early on. But odds are, I'm just gonna draw into them like now. So it's gonna die. I don't expect it to actually live. But yay, that... Hydra Broodmaster. You get to make a load of hydras. It's, it's a lot of hydras, potentially. All you need is to have cards that filter the top of your library. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just cast. I'm gonna just draw side. druids. I'm gonna draw mana dorks because my deck is primarily that, and I just didn't draw them earlier. This is yeah. the weirdest draw. Not as exciting on turn twenty or whatever it is. No. 16. Didn't oh, have. I don't I think I had a single win. one in my opener, and I didn't draw into them until really late. The fog with buyback. Oh, what? What happened? I was just zoned out. He sacked to abort overlord or something. Oh. Yeah, my Archon got sacked to Born Overlord. Yeah, whatever. I could have monstrous um, it in response, but I was going to Essex. Do I just crack in for a million here? Because I have to kill... You've got five more turns to just win the game, right? Yeah. And you got 50, and I'm scared you're going to gain loads of He has no hands, cards so in just... hand. <laughs> oh, that, that is also true. I guess I just go to combat. But Spider Fog would have been hilarious here. <laughs> <laughs> All creatures. <laughs> I could have made. So I could have made two tokens. Uh, I think long and hard about these blocks. Okay. Don't, don't kill something you can return. Why? Can you return everything now? There's a darker Valkyrie sitting there. I've got a darker Valkyrie. I've also got Coward on my in my um, command zone. With. Ah, uh, you can you can keep the the Elvish Pioneer. Let's go to damage. Guess I bring back the Archon. There's no reason not to. Here, here it comes. Here's that the beautiful top top deck, the century. Top deck. <laughs> I'm alive. What? I know you're alive. Oh, I could have killed you in the air. I've kept these back. I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't do any maths. I just didn't do any maths. Like, oh, I, ca I can't kill him on one strike. I could have just killed you. Oh. You need the magic is hard. In fact, overrun doesn't <laughs> even do it. <laughs> well, hello, what are you get top deck to kill him. Oh, are you just yeah. filling your graveyard for a big reanimation? Don't know what I'm doing really. Just playing spells, doing things. Cast a Karmic Guide, cast to get Sepulchral Primordial, get a Hydra Broodmaster. Oh, it's Exile, damn! Scrib Ranger then. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. A little, a little worse. <laughs> Good old Scrib Ranger. Right, you have one turn. If you win in this, then I really screwed up. I, I just I didn't I just didn't do any math. It's late. In England it is. Half past nine, and that's my excuse for being bad at magic, as it always is on any of my videos. What's this? Sixteen. What on earth is this? <laughs> Leave <it going>. oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that's my deck mostly. It's mana dorks. It's just the weirdest draws. The second, All right, go for it. I guess I just let Comet Guy die. It's the value in it. Sack an Archon. Exile that one, what two one you just made because value. Bestow Night Howler. I'm gonna get one win this season, so I've got to make sure it counts, right? Cast increasing ambition. Get Whip of Erebos. Cast Whip of Erebos. Accidentally skip my attack step. 
Do you have the white pact or whatever it is? Wait, is it? That's got to be cheap, right? What does the white pact even do? Does it? Is it a fog? I think it's like an angel's mercy, the split second thingy. Is that? But it costs one. Yes, I end on ninety. Good life. game. Wow, good game. good game. There you go, Vince. That you got to win. One. How are you feeling right That's now? That's it. That's my. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You can go back to attacking me uh, <laughs> mercilessly next week. Well, the deck looked really solid. You you had a lot of powerful plays, and I think even like in in our budget, like we're allowed to run survival. We're around allowed to run greater good. It, it, it's it's such a weird restriction in that we can run really powerful cards, but that we can't run like basic cards. <laughs> it's 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 very strange, but um, yeah, we got to see most of your deck, I, I I think. But were there any other really cool cards that you didn't get to showcase? Um, I don't think so. I think that I I was that was the thing that was happening when I had survival and when I had increasing ambition in my hand for like turn after turn. There was not really anything I wanted to go and get because all of my best cards had come quite early. The one thing I was thinking of doing at one point was going to get um, uh, what's it called? Merciless eviction with my increasing ambition to exile the board when it was getting a bit out of hand. But we made a promise. I didn't wrath you, so you know I'm good on my promises. See, <laughs> see. So yeah, no, I think we saw most of my deck. To be fair, I think I need more sack outlets. Mortarpod showed up in the graveyard at one point, and Culling Dias never showed up. So more ways to sack my board would have probably helped me. But yeah, ten ten M's pretty good, especially when you get some of the broken green cards that are still available in the format. Mm -hmm. Looked like a solid showing and a good reminder to everybody to pack board wipe hate because or graveyard hate because you know. Graveyard hate is, is is important to every single I, deck, and I, you shouldn't I skip tried. on it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Tomer. I know. I didn't even have any. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is that the, the the graveyard hate that Seth had ended up getting him hated on by Tomer because he wouldn't we pop have this, it. <laughs> but it's the traditional commander clash thing we've had this season of where people get hated on for not being the threat necessarily, but being the person who can control the threat. <laughs> so when I had the rafts in the creature game, I got killed first. Yeah. And in this game where Seth could keep me in check, you hit him, which I was trying to go just well, to do. Like I, I totally understood the reason for withholding the, the graveyard hate is because Seth could use it as leverage to, you know, not get it hated on by by uh, Vince. But then in my position, I didn't want them to have a collaboration because that doesn't benefit me. So I had to force Seth to use the, sen the Sentinel totem. That's why I, I went to attack him. But then he called my bluff, and then there was a whole thing like if I did just the uh, the board wipe thing, and then <laughs> attack Richard, and I knew that Richard was not the best in the best position at the time, despite you know historically winning most of the games. So it was a very interesting situation. I'm sure uh, the YouTube comments are going to be very opinionated on what what should have been done there. But personally, I think that was my favorite combat situation so far this season that I've been involved in. <laughs> However, I'm sure certain people in the comment section will have a completely opposite opinion of that. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be uh, <laughs> interesting to hear um, all the angry, angry YouTube comments and, why are they fighting? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, my deck I really liked. Um, it's kind of like a... The idea of it was supposed to be more of a combo type win condition where I would be untapping Savala multiple times each turn making a lot of mana and then winning the game with a big uh, creature um, Storm Herd was one of the ways I could win, Hunting Pack was one of the ways, Approach the Second Sun if I'm drawing a billion cards off Savala I could just cast it twice in the same turn, no problem um, I had two ways to infinitely untap her in some situations, Umbra Mantle and uh Sword of the Peruns, if I'm generating at least three mana each turn, which I, I don't think you can do consistently with Silvala unless you're doing some significant top deck manipulation. But regardless, there there could be situations where I can generate a ton of mana and then maybe on tapper many, many times in a single turn. I don't know if it's infinite or anything, but it's it's quite effective as a finisher. Um, so there's there's untapped shenanigans, mass untapped shenanigans, generate a lot of mana, but the deck just drew really weird. I started my hand with most of my finishers in my hand, and I was hoping to have like one of my 16 or so mana dorks, but I just didn't get the mana dorks early on. Um, so it was just a slow start, and it doesn't really deal very well with removal. So board wipes and multiple things getting removed and Silvala being killed a billion times definitely uh, uh, slowed it down to the point where I can't really win. But I mean, in a game that is removal light, I think Salvala really shines. 
Um, and she can, if she's allowed to sit on the board and your mana dorks are allowed to just chill, you can kind of just win the game out of nowhere. Um, but in a typical play group that has a good amount of removal or one that has a lot of removal, she's a very bad pick. But she's really fun. I really like her, especially in Selesnya Colors, which is a color pairing I don't really like that often. I, I enjoy her play style a lot. And just like slamming down big, big cards is just enjoyable every once in a while. So I liked it quite a bit. Uh, so Seth, we got to see you draw a lot of cards. <laughs> we got to see you take an extra turn, which was surprising, to, I think, to everybody um, in in this restriction of all things. What was your win condition, or did you have a win condition? Well, my main plan for killing people was milling people out, so I didn't actually get them on the battlefield, but I did have... <laughs> <laughs> I did have uh, Sphinx's Tutelage, Psychic Corrosion, so I was hoping to draw into one of my enchantments and then draw a bunch of cards and, and kill people that way. The other possibility is I have a couple of cards. Uh, a few of the creatures that I do have care about how many cards I have in hand. Uh, Sora Mauro, First to Dream, is one of them. Uh, Sturmgeist is another one, uh, which they have power and toughness. They're flying and have power and toughness equal to the number of cards in my hand. So I was hoping I could like kill someone in like one or two shots with one of those but I never really found my reliquary tower and one of the weird parts about this format is I think reliquary tower is really important to my deck but you can't really afford uh, like expedition maps or anything they're too expensive for the budget so I was just hoping to like brute force card draw into it and right. it didn't it didn't work out so I just didn't really draw my finishers but I did draw a lot of cards and I thought I was almost going to kill someone with Frag and Ingester, I was surprised that um, uh, the sorcery that copies all the creatures, Rite of Replication, uh, was actually legal in the format. I was expecting that to at least be worth a few tickets, because it's like an ultra staple in Commander, one of the like top five blue cards or something. So mm -hmm. I was surprised to find it's actually like four cents or something on Magic Online, so I was able to <laughs> sneak it in under the budget, and almost snuck out a win with it, but uh, not quite, not quite. I mean, there were some situations where you were very scary. Oh, what I, What happened with the Draining Welk? What was the Draining Welk situation there? Uh, I just cast it. <laughs> was it just like a blocker? What? Yeah, I just, well, I had a bunch, I had like multiple expensive counters in my hand. I had Rewind, I had Last Word, and I was like, oh, I got all these counters. There was a couple of turns where I like passed and didn't do anything because <laughs> there was nothing good to gather specimens or to counter and I was like I I can't just keep passing and doing nothing so I guess having a 1-1 one, one is Six like, one, one <laughs> at least I did something this turn cycle <laughs> I, I can't even, oh, I can't even begin we, we were all like what is he doing <laughs> there had yeah, to be a master <laughs> plan and then I and then I just had to let it go because I found it funny how confused everyone was by it. So, so I, I thought to... you were setting up a stunt double, but then I checked and stunt double is point one tickets, which is probably too much for the budget. I'm like, is there another one that he has? Well, is he I gonna really... is he gonna flicker it? Maybe he flickers it. On that turn, <laughs> like I really didn't think you were just gonna double Yisin activate. Like I figured you'd cast something. You had a bunch of cards in hand. You have all these creatures. I was like, Tomer's gotta cast something. So it caught me by surprise when you literally didn't do anything that I could counter that turn. I was like, all right, I'm just I'm gonna cast it anyway. Well, I wasn't certain if Vince was gonna board wipe or not because it was like still on the fence on that point. So I was like, <laughs> I, I was I was generally scared for my <laughs> life, Tomer. <laughs> I've never heard you so serious. <laughs> it was a lack of coffee and then also the flashbacks from last season where there was definitely a lot of legal leads that I had to jump through <laughs> that just was like, ugh, this again, not this again, please not this again. So I'm ap apologies if I sounded a little bit... Uh, Oh no, 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 I knew it was all in jest. I did. To be fair, I was considering wrathing because I, I didn't specify, so... But I didn't. I held to my words. So. And that's true. But then I'd have to be like, every single time we have an agreement, I'd be like super careful on the words. And ugh. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that situation. But anywho, we have one more deck. Uh, Richard, how did it go? <laughs> you played Mono Blue Edric, essentially, right? So you saw what the deck was supposed to do at the beginning of the game, which was cast a bunch of cheap creatures back them up with obnoxious equipment and cypher spells 
and just draw a million cards and basically choke everyone out with cards. It didn't work because Tomer's deck basically countered my deck. He kept everyone's hand full <laughs> the entire game and I had to discard. Meaning, at the end of the day, we all had the same number of cards, if you guys not more, but I was left with one threes, and everyone else was playing like six sixes with enter the battlefield effects. <laughs> and then for That's the for the true. last half of the game, I just drew all my cards out of order. I drew all of my control cards, so like the bouncing spells, uh, without having any creatures on the board, and I was close enough to dead that I couldn't really tap out, because if I tapped out, I would just get alpha strikes. So I kind of just did nothing for the last half of the game, and I couldn't... I couldn't really get anything done because my creatures are so small. <laughs> Every time I played a creature, it didn't block or do anything useful. So you really you really need to play a tempo game and get the creatures on the battlefield and then just choke everyone out. And so if I had to do it again, I would just choose a person and kill them instead of, you know, trying to spread it out and stuff like that. But there, there were two cards uh, that I think should be in the deck that weren't. Coastal Piracy, which we mentioned. Uh, whenever one of your creatures deals damage, draw a card and Bloodforged Battle Axe. That's the the 2-0 axe that when you deal damage, you you copy it. And that works insanely well uh, with Tetsuko because uh, you can just get like exponential number of axes if you have enough mana. So I, I really wanted to try that, but that, that card was like slightly out of budget, so I couldn't fit that in. Yeah, that card would be nuts, especially if you have like one toughness creatures that are attacking, yeah. so you don't really care about the the power side that would be really fun um but the deck looked sweet it looked like it it was a good choice also in a low budget in general not even just like low one ticket challenge budget but just like if you want to build a good budget deck uh for commander um a paper version of it i think tetsuko is probably a good choice she just seems like an edric that is a little bit even more budget friendly because you have to deal with um you don't have to deal with a expensive mana base at all you can just save a little bit more money on that on that side too so it seemed like a really good choice and it was nice to see like a faster aggressive deck at the table especially cons considering how dearly some of us were um especially at the at the beginning so there was a little bit of regression there and it did, it did keep the pace a little bit so that was that was nice to see i was, yeah, I was a I fan think, i think the lesson is we need a tom don't also don't <laughs> I, I, tap I'm, down myself, Vala. I'm, I'm going gruel. I'm, I'm going to smash someone's face in before it stalls out for two hours. I tried to be. Anything done. I tried to be aggressive this week, and I think I was the most aggressive this week. I had I was playing my big creatures. <laughs> I was attacking. There was a couple of turns, Tomer, where you just you just didn't attack or or chose not to attack. But that was probably Richard's it was fate that spinner. I hate that card. That's my only deep propaganda is too expensive, by the way. So we can't put propaganda. We, we, there's a the one that when a creature deals damage to you, bounce it. That's the only pillow, pillow 40 cards. And then you saw, uh, I have a fog bank. You saw you saw the jellyfish. <laughs> like that was my yeah. answer to big green dudes because I, I cannot block for the life of me. <laughs> I know it was, a, it, was, it was supposed to be the right call to just ignore my draw phase and just attack because I did have like at least 10 power on the board at any given time. But it's me and I need to draw cards. It's like a thing, so yeah, that was very effective. More effective than it probably should have been. I do have one quick question to ask before we finish up. Is uh, Did Seth actually put a strip mine or a field of rune in his deck this uh, week? No, I didn't. I, I, I was tempted Good. to Thank cheat you. a little bit and sneak it in just to give Vince his reaction after last week, but no, I played by the rules and kept it in the budget. Can I tell you the, the thing that I was actually trying to do with the entire deck? I forgot to mention it, and it's probably never going to happen again, so uh, opportunity lost. But I picked this deck because I double-checked that there was a certain card I wanted to run specifically against Seth as a revenge from that, that <laughs> classic time. He uh, commandeered my Mana Crypt and stripped mine my, fir my first and only land. Um, so in the, in the deck that I was running, a lot of the cards were Druids. In fact, I had like 12 or so druids, not because I was running druid tribal, oh. but because 
because they worked very well with what I wanted to do with the mass untapping. So I was running the only good payoff druid really ever printed. There's like Seton, but he's not actually that great. Um, Guilt, Lift, Guilt Leaf All Arch Druid is 0 .01 tickets. Um, it's an elf druid, and whenever you play a druid spell, you draw a card. But more importantly, you can tap seven untapped druids you control and gain control of all lands target player controls. And the deck is actually really easy if you have like a normal draw. If you goldfish with it, you can just dump your early like 16 or so druids that all tap for mana. Dump your hand of that. I have multiple ways of tutoring up guilt leave to our druid. All I need to do is tutor him up. Once I have six druids, he's a seventh. You play it and then I could have stolen all of Seth's uh, lands and I would have had like a long monologue with it too and I would have slow rolled it and I had I had the autumn's veil because I knew <laughs> Seth was running mono blue so I wanted to make sure that ability would stick and I knew I said to myself no matter who's who's ahead and who's behind even if Seth is super far behind I would use <laughs> that and only that on him and, well you did oh, try I had to use it on me so I also had the Elvish Harbinger in my hand forever, but I didn't want to use it to tutor up the Druid because I just didn't have any Druids. And uh, it was an unfortunate uh, draw, but yeah, so Seth, you, you've been saved from that oh, fate. I don't think goodness. I'm ever going to have another Druid <laughs> tribal deck to actually run it. But yeah, I was, was... going to say that 12 Druids, you're, you're a tribal deck this week. <laughs> More so than Moonfolk at yeah. least. <laughs> About the same the Moonfolk number, will return. They will have their revenge. <laughs> It's, when we do our dual um, tribe week, can you do moonfolk and druids, please? I'm going moonfolk and druids. I'm going to do moonfolk flavored druids. <laughs> it will be a thing. <laughs> well, I think that's it for this video. It was a long one. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, what are we doing next week? Double tri uh, double tribal. Double tribal. Oh, so next week. <gasps> yeah. What? Catch over. She's a blue green druid. Moonfolk will turn blue around. Druids to and moonfolk don't work, work well. Uh... Yes, they do. You can do it. I believe All right, you. I'll, I'll believe make the you. effort. If that is if that is our if that is our theme, and I actually just didn't know that. Uh, this is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, everyone. See ya. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.